Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Yasim. Welcome to Children of Silent Town. Shh. Now, in this game, you play. We play as a girl named Lucy. Um, and apparently, children in the forest or whatever are disappearing. And Lucy, because she's so smart, she's going to investigate and see if she can figure out what's going on. You know, because that's not stupid at all. Because she can survive, even though all the other children could not. Before we dive into the game, I just wanted to give you guys a quick update. I made my first community post, I think yesterday or a couple days ago. And in that post, you guys are able to vote on what game you would like me to play for the week of Halloween. The options were Alan Wake 2, which I believe comes out October 27th, and I think that one's going to be really good. It looks like it's going to be more horror than the first one. It kind of it kind of gives me Resident Evil vibes for what I saw in the trailer. The next option is Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach, which, which could be interesting because I have never played a Five Nights at Freddy game ever. And then the last option was Silent Hill 1 on PlayStation 1. I've never played any of the Silent Hill games, but I've also heard really, really good things about that. And if there's any other horror games you would like me to play, please feel free to comment them under that poll or in the comment on this video or any of my videos, and I will try my best to make it happen. Thank you very much. Now back to the game. I wonder if this is it just is a, a keyboard mouse game. But we all have ears to listen and eyes to see. Really? I had As no we get idea. Older, our senses go numb and our perception fails us. However, sometimes those who have a great sight look the other way, while those who hear well do not listen. Because more than old age or any kind of illness, fear is often the hardest disease to treat. Oh yeah, my fear of spiders never, never heard gonna of be cured. cured. Whoa, this looks a pretty. A hand full of roofs, standing out in the heart of the forest. No voices, no noises, only whispers and gasps. Because it's called Silent Town. People enslaved by rules to stay safe. Get because it? while the forest by day was calm and peaceful, once night had fallen, you could hear them roar. The monsters. <laughs> the monsters. <laughs> it so far <gasps> I think that's us we're Lucy with the weird eyeballs that nightmare again why do I look dirty uh, excuse you who the hell threw the ball at my head oh it's another big-eyed little kid hey Lucy pass the ball please yeah pass it right out of his fucking head hit it right back hit him in the face just like dodgeball dodgeball that shit okay so i can't use xbox controller for this it looks like another keyboard mouse game like franbo can i throw it at his face you've got a ball really i had no idea oh thanks lucy pass it here please 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 can we throw it at him can we throw it at him because i really want to i really want to throw it at him okay one sec might need to move my big ass head Maybe, maybe we'll go over here. Ah, ah ha ha ha. All right, well, let's get back to it. Now that I can see the ball, throw it at his head, right in his face. That was too nice, that was too nice. He literally hit me in the face and I'm literally just gonna hand it to him. No, no, give it to him hard, like dodgeball. <laughs> Thanks, I threw it a bit too far this time. Yeah, it hit me in the fucking face. What were you doing? Uh, sitting on the bench, you know, taking a little nap till you woke me up with the fucking basketball. I had another nightmare. Oh, I see. I have nightmares a lot too. I really didn't ask. I really don't care. Really? How do you get the feeling to go away? Um, me? I don't know. When I'm scared of something, I hide so well that nobody can find me. Ah, so he's also a little wimp. That's why I'm so good at hide and seek. <gasps> no, no. Why do I feel like we're gonna play hide and seek and he's gonna disappear in the forest? That's literally what's gonna happen. No, oh my God. Wanna join us? We're all playing in the square, but we need another player. Sure, let's go. 
Oh my gosh, he's gonna disappear! No! Listen, I know I gave him shit for hitting me in the face with a fucking ball, okay? But like, but he's just a kid, you know? He might be my only friend. Unless they're my friends too. Blue, you're not supposed to stop the ball. Well, I thought it was basketball. Apparently they're using it as a volleyball, but you know, it doesn't look like a volleyball. Volleyballs are white. That looks like a dark orange basketball without the lines. But what do I know? I don't, I don't play sports. I don't play sports. I play video games, as you can tell. I'm going to show you my super shot. Not again. Blue, cut it out and play by the rules or show me what you got. You know what? I feel like he's about to die. So even though he hit us in the fucking face, we're going to be nice. Show us what you got, bro. Eh, eh. Here comes blue super shot. Straight into the garden. Oh no. Here we go again. Lucy, I've been waiting for you. I told you not to be late, remember? Come on, we have to make dinner. Make it yourself. Say goodbye to your friends, dear. Oh, that must be my mom. Hi, mom. <laughs> I'm so smart. Yes, I'm coming. I have to go, guys. See you tomorrow. Uh, good luck finding your ball. <laughs> Bye, Lucy. See ya. Ugh, who's gonna get the ball back now? Not me. I'm gonna go make some dinner. Take care, children. It's almost evening. You should be heading home soon. <gasps> what if they all disappear? Yes. Blue, the ball. Why is it always me? It was your super shot. Like, you're the one that did it. Oh, my God. Here we are. Lucy, about time you showed up. You were supposed to come home a while ago, weren't you? <laughs> Why don't you help mom, honey? Let's cook something, then go to bed early. Don't make us come looking for you next time, okay? Go help your mom now. Oh, that's me. Okay, I gotta actually do something. Mmm, I'm hungry. Well, you better get to cooking then. It's not gonna cook itself. Alright, what should I do? What should I do? How should I help my mom? Oh, this maybe? This is the candle we use to go down in the cellar. Oh, why? Why would you want to go down to the cellar? She obviously has not seen very many horror games. Obviously. It's a locked music box. Mom says it's broken, but it's her keepsake. Oh, alrighty then. If you ask Red what time it is, he always says the same time it was this time yesterday. I wonder if Red is her dad's name. Weird, he's right. So does that mean the clock is broken? Mom likes to play the li liar after dinner. She's really good at it. <gasps> what is this? Squinty, are you still sleeping? Squinty? <laughs> Squinty. Oh, it's a cat. Oh, I did not realize that was a cat. Because it looks... I, I don't know why. I thought it was like a raccoon or something. But then again, raccoons are black and white. I don't know. I don't know, y'all. I never said I was good at thinking. The salt is safe up there from the clumsy cats. Pots and pans. A stool has many uses around the home, and if you flip it upside down, it's a crown. Can I, like, drag it? No? The fire is almost out. So should I, like, put some more wood in it, or... The fire iron, a tool used for everything but the fire. In books, anyway, we just don't use it at all. So how am I supposed to help my mom out? The water basin is pretty full. It'll be enough for today. Okay. Hmm. So how do we help our mom? Come on, sweetheart, let's make some dinner. Can you grab the saucepan? It's hanging next to the fireplace. Oh, we have to click on her. Okay, here we go. Yes. All right. You've got a saucepan. Oh, thank you. Drag the saucepan. Thank you, sweetheart. Now let's see. What else? The fireplace needs wood. Pick up some from the chest and rekindle it. I will start working on the stew. Watch you don't burn your fingers. Is that the chest, the, the one the cat's on? Oof, you're heavy. Uh, no, she is not that heavy. Uh, we have to figure out how to get the cat off. We gotta, like, scare her somehow. What's this again? A 
That's a candle. Ugh, the cellar. I don't like it much. It's so dark and damp in there. Okay, I guess we can't go in there. Ooh! Hey, my diary's on the floor. What's it doing there? Better keep it with me. <gasps> All right, we have our diary. We got Lucy's diary. All right, cool. We can be Snoopy. Now you can use the diary. Here, Lucy will write down everything she discovers as she explores the town. It's an extra blanket for when I get cold. The bed is comfy and warm, but I still have trouble falling asleep at night. I keep hearing the roars from the window. How I wish I couldn't hear the roars of the forest. Uh, roar, grr. <laughs> what a shock, it's full of socks. <laughs> I see the writer has some humor. <laughs> This is Squinty's toy. How did it end up here? <gasps> All right. Oh my God. So we made the right decision to come up the stairs. Yes. So we're going to use the toy to make Squinty get off of the box because he is fat. He's too fat for that box. Mom and dad's room. It's locked. What are they hiding in there? It's me. I'm a girl. I'm 12 and I have a big brain because I'm very smart. Of course you got a sticker. Uh, thanks. I guess. This mirror really makes my head look huge. What about your eyeballs? Have you not noticed your big ass eyes? Oh, hey, we got an achievement, Egghead Lucy, because we got the sticker, sweet. All right, let's use the mouse toy on the cat. So she'll get her fat ass off the box or the chest. Hey, Squinty, looky here. Luckily, luckily, Mom's liar didn't fall to the ground. It makes a really nice sound. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, we got a note. Oh, we wrote a note. Oh, that's what it meant by we got a note. I thought she meant like a music note. Lucy notes down every unusual sound she hears in her diary, creating melodies. That is so strange. Once the melody is complete, you can use it in your adventure. So we can like have music play? That's actually kind of cool. And now, back to the fire. Let's get some wood. You got some firewood. Thank you very, very much. Okay, now we gotta put it in the fire. There we go. Then I think we talked to mom again. I hear some crackling. I guess the wood was enough. Now I need some sausages from the cellar. Could you fetch them for me, Lucy? Be careful with the stairs and take the candle. You'll need some light. All right, so the candle is this. You've got a candle. Wouldn't I need a lighter, though? Here it is. It's not lit, though. Aha, there we go. That's what I was thinking. So what, we need to find some matches now? This is Quinty's bed. Um, where would I find matches? there maybe can I open anything in here the, the cupboard does what fur most furniture does it contains stuff yeah no no shit Sherlock I was thinking it was gonna contain some matches where would I find matches would that be in my room why do I have a sock in my bed oh my sock sticking out it's like the trunk is making a face you look cool you have permission to stay like this forever oh my goodness It's been a while since I last used my ball. Blue always brings his. Is it still inflated? Uh, nope. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, there's no matches in here, but at least there were a couple things that I didn't click on last time, so it wasn't like a total waste of our time to go back. Where would matches be? I am an idiot. I am an idiot. I spent 10 minutes looking for matches. Guys, guys, how else could I light the candle? I literally, <laughs> it took me this long. I swear, if this works, I'm gonna be mad. There's literally a fireplace, I swear. I, I swear, I swear. If this works, I'm gonna be so mad. Oh my God. Oh my God. 
I literally get fixated on, like, if I think that this is a solution to the puzzle, I get fixated on it, and that is the only thing I look for. It's like I have a one-track mind. Like, once my mind is set, that's all I look for, and I really gotta fix that. That's why I'm so bad at puzzle games. That's why I'm terrible at them. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Let's go. I feel fucking stupid. Oh my god. That's probably why I had to put the firewood first, to be like, remember that there's a fire. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Yep. Yep. Beautiful. <laughs> That's better. Oh my gosh. Alright. I forgot what we're looking for. Oh, the sausages. Okay, she remembered, so that's all that matters. Oh, the cat's looking at the fish. Dad says that if we dry the fish, it'll last for a long time. He knows a lot of stuff. Squinty, don't you even think about it. <laughs> Squinty's like, me? Never. I made this when I was learning how to hammer nails. Getting them to go straight is hard. Maybe I should take them out someday. <laughs> nah, you're good. <laughs> it's an old rusty sickle I think we can just go right back up uh oh now that I think about it Squinty leave that fish be shoo <laughs> what a little pest that is so funny. She's like, you know what? If I leave, nah. She's gonna get the fish. Are you talking about Luca? It's been two days already. His father didn't want people to know, but it's crystal clear. Oh no. This hasn't happened in so long. Will we ever be free? Don't. Don't be a fool. It will never end. Do not forget. This is why we have rules. I forgot his voice the, the first time, but it's okay. Dear, nobody can forget that ever. Not even for one night. How can you say such things? It's been a long time since silence fell on this town. Yeah, I know, I know. But it happened. And it will happen again. We were caught off guard. What will his father do now? Lucy? Uh, I'll go see him tomorrow. Let's try not to think about it now. Were they talking about another missing person? Okay. Mom? Yes, Lucy? Well, no, nothing. Uh, alrighty then. I heard a noise earlier. Was Squinty in the cellar again? <laughs> he was up to no good, wasn't he? Well, anyway, do you have the sausages? Yes. Yes. Was he in the cellar again? Of course. You guys keep food down there. Mmm. Can you smell that? This is gonna be delicious. Let's see what else. Yes, yes. Some salt. It's on the shelf. Lucy, can you please grab it? Then you can go play. Thank you, sweetheart. Alright, let's grab the stool. Yep, I need your help, stool. I sure do. Alright, we got the stool. Now we're gonna set it right here. Squinty, stop. Oh my god. <laughs> Lucy! <laughs> Phew, you're okay. I was so scared. Forgive me. It was too high for you. Don't worry about dinner. I can handle it from here. As for you, little pest. <laughs> Go out and play. I'm on it. Sure. <laughs> Where are you going, Lucy? Where are you going, Lucy? The sun is setting. You should stay home. But it's still light outside. I'd like to play a bit more. Swear I won't go far. Tell you what. When dinner's ready, I'll call you. And immediately. Sound good? All right. Just don't go too far. The town is not safe after dusk. <laughs> Oh my god, the cat cracks me up. Eloise. It's just for a few minutes. And it's just in front of the house. You know why I'm worried. I want Lucy to be safe. And you're too lenient. Stupid cat knocked me over. And now I'm gonna have a bump on my head. <laughs> the woodwork.
co-worker is really good at his job. Mom's liar is his work. Sometimes when we play hide and seek, I slip in here, assuming there's no woodworker around. He once threatened to lock us in. Oh my god! Every morning, the woodworker goes to the forest to collect wood. Everyone in town relies on him. I'd like to learn more about the forest, but he never talks to anyone. This is where the woodworker works. Better not touch anything. The woodworker is crafting a new instrument. I wonder what it sounds like. <gasps> is it going to be a note? Uh, well, not what I expected. Mom's liar is way better. Who would even want something like this? Who would even want something like this? Hey, we got another sticker. Yay! Which is another achievement? We got the trumpet sticker. The woodworker always leaves his tools lying around and then gets angry if you touch anything. Blech. Well, it's too heavy for me anyways. Alright, what's over here? Hey, is this my grandma? Kitty, kitty, what happened to your fur? You're all covered in salt. <laughs> His name is Squinty. He knocked me over while I was getting the salt. He's a real pest, always looking for trouble. Oh, hee 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 hee. But of course, cats can be mischievous, but also very clever. Did you mistreat him? Maybe he doesn't like you anymore. Oh. Oh. No, no, I'm sure that's not it. I can see that you are a good girl. Not like these cowards whispering all the time. Bah. Believe me, child. They're all crazy around here. I'm a crazy old lady. You can trust me. <laughs> right, Furball? You can trust this crazy old lady. Don't touch me. Here, take this. Oh, I got a sticker. All right. Lucy, you'll have to be very brave. Understood. Uh, what do you mean? Ah, dumb old lady, you'll never give in, right? Tsk. Perhaps she really is a bit troubled. Uh, be brave. Okay, so she must know what's going on. Suspicious. It's the woodworker's dog kennel. The sign shows the way to the well in the square. So this must be where they get their water. Uh... Sorry, Mr. Spider. I'm not sorry. Oh my god. Do not touch me, please. Alright, where should I go now? This way? Mommy said not to leave the alley. Fine. I guess we'll listen. It seems like this handle might break off at any moment. Uh, whoops. It actually came off. Oh, we got a weird handle. So I guess we need it for something? A bell. It won't ring. There's no cl there's no clapper. Or whatever the fuck. Clicker, clapper, whatever. What about the bell? <gasps> oh, it has the symbol! It seems to fit it seems to fit the bell perfectly. Aha! We got it! And she has a note. You got a note. Why thank you. Thank you very much. Alright, looks like we've got what? Two stickers? No, three stickers, because of the, the lucky charm. Lucy, dinner's ready. Time to come home. Coming. Nah, it must have been boring being out here. Why would she have wanted to stay? It looks very boring. She has no friends. Nothing to play with. Come on, Squinty, let's go. Squinty? <gasps> Where are you going? Come back here. Oh, no. She's going to follow the cat. No. Squinty, it's dark already. Oh no! <laughs> uh oh. Squinty? Light, stop it. Squinty, please. Wh where are you? Oh, oh, uh oh. That's not good. It gave me the shivers. What what was that? S -s -s Quinty? Is that you? I don't 
I don't like it here. Oh no. Oh no! The monster! <gasps> no, wait! Did I become one of the disappearing children? Oh, wait. Th there's something out there. Who knows what happened to Squinty? Squinty? I thought you were gone. I was so worried. But you've been here safe this whole time while... You're a bad cat. I won't look for you ever again. Lucy, dinner's ready. We're just waiting for you. I'm coming. What if it was a trap? What if the monster can make her think that she saw the cat, but she didn't see the cat? Ooh, what if that's its power? Lucy? Yes? Oh, so I like to sing. That's where the notes are from. I see. So my mom plays the instruments, and I like to sing. Okay. Well done, Lucy. That was very good. Let's stop here for today. No, please. Just a bit more. But Lucy, it's late already. Also, weren't you the one who didn't want to study singing? No, I like it now. Oh, really? What's changed? I thought it would be boring, but I like singing with you. Aw, that's sweet. All right, then let's sing a bit more. Yes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, chapter two. That was fast. Uh-oh, the monster. Why does it look, why does the moon look like a piece of cheese? I thought it was going to be a jump scare. I was literally waiting for the monster to just appear at the window. <laughs> Uh-oh. What am I dreaming about? Draw. Oh, it wants me to draw. Maybe I'm drawing what I saw. Lucy, 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 someone is calling me. I can't hear it. I can't hear it. Oh, no. Oh, it wasn't a monster. I'm, I feel bad for giving it a monster voice. It's one of the missing children, I bet. Lucy, help me. Uh-oh. Or maybe it is the monster. Lucy, be careful. Oh, no. Lucy, don't turn around. Oh, Lucy, don't turn around. Hang on. Lucy, don't turn around. Okay, it's maybe it is still a kid. It's just a missing kid. Oh no! Oh no, what happened? Oh! Why did- Did it look like a giant spider to you guys? That looked like a fucking spider. I don't do spiders, guys. I do not do spiders. I don't know if y'all saw my freaking demo for Unholy, okay? But there's literally a whole spot for at least two minutes of me ranting about I do not fucking do spiders. Oh, is that a spider web? Listen. Listen, listen. Listen, Linda. You can throw demons at me and I'll just run like a little bitch, okay? But if there's spiders, I'm just dead. I might as well just uh, just go ahead and dig my six foot grave. <gasps> ah! See, I'm telling you, them spiders. What I say? What did I fucking say? Fucking spiders. That's why I haven't played Limbo yet. I gotta like I gotta like work my way into playing Limbo because there's literally a giant fucking spider. I'm gonna play it though. I downloaded it from Game Pass, okay? But I gotta like work my fear of spiders to do it. I gotta like remind myself. It's not really there, you know? It's not gonna like crawl on me in real life. But you never know, because spiders are a whole nother species of hell no. <laughs> Another nightmare. I hate this. Oh, goodness. Maybe I should tell Sunny about the bad dreams. She tells me about hers. <laughs> Something smells good. 
Not them spiders. Mm -mm. <gasps> wait, 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 go back. What was that? What's this? The slingshot that Dad gave me. The rubber band broke, and I haven't used it since. He told me he was going to fix it. You got a broken slingshot. I don't think that was here the day before. Maybe we gotta give it to our dad now, and maybe he'll fix it. That's gonna be our weapon against the evil spider. I really hope that wasn't a spider. Ready to go, Lucy. Wait, why aren't you ready yet? Come on, there's so much to do for the event. Go upstairs and get ready. Uh, I forgot the harvest festival is today. So I guess I gotta get dressed. What does she want me to do, make the bed? No, I guess I can't make the bed. I'm assuming I gotta get dressed. It's my clothes tr it's my, oh, it's my clothes trunk's tongue. How do I get dressed? Oh, maybe these are my clothes. <laughs> that cat does not like us. <laughs> Little bugger. I didn't want to play with you. I don't want to play with you now. Poor cat. I feel like the cat is misunderstood. <laughs> Just wants love. <laughs> Honey, there's a grocery list on the table. First things first, the baker. He's a bit distracted lately. Check that he's put aside some bread for us. So I gotta find the baker. Okay. Lucy, won't you grab the list? Oh, right, duh. I guess I'll need the list so I know what I'm getting. Grocery list. So maybe I can just give the grocery list to the baker. Maybe it'll be like nice and simple like that. I don't know. Oh, hi, Sunny. Hey, Lucy. What's up? I have to run some errands for mom. Want to come with me? I'd like to, but I'm waiting for the woodworker. I have to get something for my mom. Ah, I see. Um, she looks a little down. Are you okay? No, I'm not. I'm worried. Red and the others are getting into trouble. I'm sure of it. What are they up to this time? I'm not sure. They're doing something behind the barn, but they won't let me in. They think I'd rat them out, and yes, if they really are in danger, of course I would. Red, he's in trouble. Mom always says that if he keeps acting like that, the monsters will take him. He will put us all in danger, and I don't want to. Does anyone else know? No, I'm not sure they're doing anything wrong, and if I call the adults, they'd get mad at me. I don't know what to do. What if I go? Maybe they'd let me in. For real? Thank you, Lucy. They're my friends, too. I'll see what they're up to. Ooh. It's the woodworker's shed. Oh, they're playing behind it. Okay. So where should we go? Oh, wait. What is that? Clothes? I remember when I was little, I used to play with the clothes hung out to dry. I'm much too old for that now. But... Are these tights? They could be useful. I didn't... I don't think anyone will get mad at me for this. <laughs> I mean, if they weren't your tights, they might some items can be combined okay bag oh am I gonna use it with my slingshot how do I combine it oh you got a sling look at that look at that wouldn't tights actually be a little bit too big for a slingshot though I don't know what well, then again she's really small she's only 12 so maybe not maybe not I'm gonna need my slingshot for something I just know it I don't know where the bakery is this way can I read signs the woodworker shop is to the left next to my house to the right there's the forest well I don't want to go to the forest hey one of our friends Blue, what are you doing? That was a great shot, but now the ball is stuck on the bell tower. Wow, that's pretty high up. <laughs> yep, the priest isn't here, so there's no way I can get it back. Uh, can I use my slingshot to help him? <gasps> I can! <laughs> Woohoo! Got it. Cool, Lucy, you hit the bell. Do it again. Haha, <laughs> that's so cool. What the fuck? That's so cool. Oh, <laughs> oh my god.
god, how does she have friends when she does shit like that? Stupid. You're right. You got a note. Oh, I guess I mimicked the bell, but that was still so weird. <laughs> you completed your first song. This is a song of children. It evokes spontaneous, sincere thoughts in people. Try and use it on blue. He's playing with his ball. Huh? Oh no, blue's thoughts are ripped. Drag the red thread from one of the three starting points to start sewing. Drag the red thread from one of the three starting points to start sewing. Create a path. Create a path with the thread by moving through all the buttonholes. Once all the buttons are sewn, pass the thread through the ripped through the ripped thought to sew it back up. go okay I figured it out sweet so we fixed his thought all right so now we get to see what it is given the ball is he given he's given a ball to one of the friends wait they see a monster Ha 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 ha, he's making fun of him. Oh, he was like, oh, there's the monster. He tricked him, he tricked him. I, I get it, I think I get it. You know, Lucy, I don't like that area behind the barn. I was playing hide and seek once and I was hiding nearby, but then I heard a terrible growl. I got so scared. Lucy, don't go there alone. Something tells me we're gonna go there alone. Thanks for getting the ball back, Lucy. I didn't know what to do. So now we're looking for the bakery still. That was kind of fun, sewing his thought back together. I had a really, I actually enjoyed doing that. I don't know why. Are you catching anything? Lower your voice, you'll scare the fish. You brats are always playing in the square and making so much noise that fishing is almost impossible. Actually, we aren't allowed to shout, so how? Shh, don't be so loud. Jeez. All right, Mr. Grumpity Grump. You're probably single. Ain't nobody gonna want to be with your grumpy ass. Oh, this is this Sunny's mom? She kind of looks like Sunny. Hi, Lucy. How are you? Need anything? Hello, Miss Olivia. Mom asked me to stop by. Oh, right. The vegetables for your mother. Unfortunately, I can't get into the house. I left just for a moment, and when I came back, the knob was gone. I don't know what to do. Oh, uh, so we're looking for a doorknob? Well, that's kind of a strange puzzle. Where can I find a doorknob? Some, just a random doorknob. I don't know. The, all right, the bakery is this way. Maybe we go there first. Not open yet, weird. Huh. Uh-oh. Missing picture. Uh. Okay. <gasps> what is this? The doorknob? Spyglass. Collect the spyglass sticker. And this is all I have. My entire world. Oh, it was a, tele a telescope sticker. Well, we found another sticker. That's not what I wanted, though. I really needed a doorknob. It's just a pile of straw. Hmm. Where am I gonna find a fucking doorknob just lying around waiting to be put on a door? Oh, wow. These are more missing children. 
people put up posters of missing persons on this board. Sometimes you're just passing by and there's a new face. Going this way. Oh, who's this? Halt! Only the older kids can pass. You're not that much older than me. Only the bravest can pass, but I am brave. Okay, listen. It's just, you can't pass because you're a girl, and girls always tell on us. Oh! Rude! Alright. Fuck you too. We also need water. I didn't actually look at the list until just now. Oh, what the hell? There's a chicken up there. That's weird. We got a bucket. Well, we can at least get some water. Here's the first thing on the, or one of the things on the list at least. At least I made some progress. There we go. All right, we got water. So we have one thing on our list. I'm going to see if maybe we can talk to the baker now. Maybe there's a certain order we have to do things, and maybe the water was the first thing we had to do. I don't know. It should be open, but the door is closed. No, it's still closed. What is this? That's the baker. What is he doing? He's looking at a photo. He's looking at a photo. Yummy, I love the smell of fresh bread. Now what do I do? Wait. Oh! So we have to sing to, to people in order to read their thoughts, right? Is that what it is? That's what we did to our friend with the ball, right? We read his mind? Okay, we gotta fix his thought again with the buttons. I like this, this is fun. what he's thinking oh no so one of he must have a child that was missing maybe it was a child that the dad was talking about with uh, Lucy's mom that is so sad no wonder the bakery's not open yet I didn't realize this game was gonna be so sad what am I doing? I'm such a coward. I have to look for him. Oh, Lucy, what are you doing outside my door? Well, I was... Right, silly me, you ordered some bread. I'll be right back. Okay, well, at least we got the bread before he left, I guess. Here you go, still warm. Got some bread. And here's this candy, too, to make up for the waiting. Oh, thank you, sir. Sweet, we got a piece of candy. Thank you. So, is the bakery open? No, Lucy, the bakery will stay closed for the rest of the day. I have some very important business to attend to. It's time to say goodbye. Where are you going? I'm going... I'm going to find Luca. In the forest? Well, no. You see... You and your mother are preparing for the festival, right? Yes. Come on then, go help her, she needs you. I'll be back for the festival. See you, Lucy. Oh no. But, so he probably won't be, he probably won't make it back either. I'm not trying to be negative, but I feel like this game is gonna be super fucking sad. I don't think he's gonna make it back. Okay, I think I'm getting it. So we have, we have to use the song. Um, so I'm gonna go back to the veg the vegetable lady and see if maybe we have to fix her thought as well and maybe she'll remember where her doorknob is maybe or maybe i can use the piece of candy i'm gonna try the piece of candy first and if that doesn't work um i'm gonna see if we can fix her thought and see if that works i keep pushing the wrong button so let's use this first 
Okay, that doesn't work. So maybe it is the thought. Let's try. Let's try. Aha! Oh, her cats are hungry. Oh, that was it? So we don't have to fix the thought. What the hell? What the hell? What the hell? What the hell? I got the candy for something. Okay, so if the candy didn't work on her, the only other place we can go is the little bully kid up here. The little bully. So let's see. Let's say, let's say. Aha! This bitch wants the candy. All right. All right, you little jerk. Hey, Silver, look at this. Uh, is that for me? Uh-huh. Yeah, here, take it. Wow, thanks. Luca always had these with him. They're amazing. Listen, I'm no, I am no spy. Come on, what are you doing? And why, and why behind the barn? Wait, do you actually believe blue stories? <laughs> Ah, I didn't think you would. So, what are you what are you doing? Mm, I don't know. Give it back then. No, no. Okay, I'll tell you. Just please don't tell anyone. We're just playing, doing a test of courage. The others don't want people snooping around, but I think you'd like it too. A test of courage. Mhm. Mm Yum. This is so good. Try to enter the barn through the window. You can see it from there. Cuz I don't really know. They told me to stay here and keep watch, but I wanted to play too. Just go. Go, you were never here. All right. Ooh, a test of courage. I bet they're going over the fucking fence like idiots. A cheese wheel poised on a wooden board. Hey, this is for acrobats, not mice. Uh. Um, they're playing with the cart. It looks fun, but also dangerous. Something's off with the wheels of that cart. They don't look normal. Raven in black, supporting red in one of the, in one of his dangerous activities. Nothing new. I wonder if black helped build that cart. I don't really think it's anything, like, super dangerous, though. I thought they were going over the fence. I'd rather not. I don't want them to notice me. So we can't use it on them, but can we use it on... On him, maybe? No. Okay. Well, let's go then. Now that I think about it, those cartwheels look really nice. Aha! The missing knobs. Those little buggers. They're the reasons why Olivia can't get into our house. I must find a way to get them back. Or maybe I should tell Olivia. The others will hate me. Ah, oh, damn. I feel like I have to tell, otherwise I'm not going to get the knobs. Damn it. Olivia, I think I know who took your doorknob. Really? Tell me, Lucy. Kids, what are you doing? Uh, <laughs> stealing? Is that what your parents taught you? Wait till I tell them, you little thieves. Red, don't you have something for me? Uh. <laughs> what do you have to say? I'm sorry. Come on, kids, let's go. You're in for a good scolding. <laughs> oh no, I might have I might not be in with the cool crowd now. Spy, you're a spy. No, I needed the doorknobs, guys. Oh my god. They deserve this, I'm sure. I just hope they won't be too mad at me. It took them a lot of work. I thought this place was dangerous. But I don't see anything out of place. Uh oh. Still, I don't like it here. <laughs> Yay! All right, let's poof ourselves back to the mom. Hey, look, she's waiting for us. Sweet. Oh, Lucy, I was waiting for you. Here are your vegetables. Yay! Thanks to you, I was finally able to feed my babies. Thank you, thank you, thank you. 
You got vegetables. Woo! If those bullies keep on acting like that, the monsters of the forest will take them. I don't think that's how it works. I could be wrong, but I feel like monsters will take anything. Okay, interesting. I thought that she would give us veggies and mushrooms, but she didn't. Um... The only other place we haven't gone is the forest, so I guess that's our next location. To the forest. Da, 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 da. All right. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't actually think it was gonna let us go here. This gate is all that stands between us and the forest. It's dangerous to go beyond this point, especially after dusk. Ah, mushrooms. We did it. We got everything on our list. Woo. Uh-oh. Don't do it. Don't do it. Stupid bird. <laughs> what was that? Maybe just a bird, but I really don't like that place. Okay, that's done. I should go to home now. Mom is waiting. You got a shopping bag. All right, that must be where all of our stuff is. <laughs> I don't know where I got a shopping bag from, but all right, let's go back home. All right, we made it home. Mom, I got the groceries for you. I keep pushing that button. Oh my gosh. There we go. Did you get everything? Perfect, I'm almost done here. Shall we start preparing for later? Yes. All right, so now we're getting ready for the festival. Oh wow, the old woman looks really worried. But then again, it's hard to actually tell if they're worried when their eyeballs are like the size of my head. <laughs> Here, Lucy, some of these sandwiches around, or hand some of these sandwiches around. When you're done, you can go play with your friends. My mom makes me do a lot of work. Okay, mom, thanks. You got sandwiches. I gotta hand it around to the people. All right, fine. All right, fine. Can I like snoop on them? Better not, it's rude to sing during important events. Dang it, I wanted to read their minds, it's fun. I gotta give out five sandwiches, I guess. So, so I was locked out of my own house for the entire day because of those troublemakers. Oh my. They'll see when they grow up. These. These new generations really are terrible. I wish they were all like Lucy. She's so kind. Your daughter, too. She's so responsible. You're lucky. Oh, Lucy, dear, what's the matter? Would you like a sandwich? Oh, dear, thank you so much. <laughs> they're embarrassed. <laughs> at least they were saying good things. I think it would have been more embarrassing if they didn't say anything at all. I mean, anything kind, I mean. Would you like a sandwich? Oh, no, no, absolutely not. I have to be careful what I eat, or I'll get heartburn. Thank you, though, sweetie. Ah, old people. I see, okay. Even though, like, we could get heartburn as young people, too, but it's fine. We're gonna pretend it's reserved for old people. Ahem, excuse me, would you like a sandwich? Look, it's Eloise's daughter. Another one who doesn't give a damn about rules and just wastes her time singing. Kid, you should listen more to your father. He knows what he's talking about. Luckily, there are still husbands like him. That woman doesn't know what respect is. Wow. No, I'm reacting. Fuck these old people. Respect. You're the rude one. Don't you dare talk about my mom like that, or I? Lucy, honey. There are others who need sandwiches, dear. I'll handle this. But mom. It's all right, sweetheart. Now go. Okay. Huh. These old geezers really didn't deserve the sandwiches. I, You should have put, like, cat food in it. Just sneak some cat food in it and then see their reaction. Like, uh, I don't know if you guys have seen the movie Little Rascals. You should have. You should have because that movie is a classic. But if you guys have seen the movie Little Rascals, whenever they put kitty litter in their sandwiches, ah, that's funny. That's funny. That is super funny. That's what they should have done to the old people. He didn't show up, did he? Nah, he must still be locked up in his cellar. He didn't even open the store today. He knows full well that the Harvest Festival is the most important gathering of the year. He caused us a lot of trouble by closing today. I think we should look for another baker. Yes, that would be wise. <laughs> Excuse me, would you like a sandwich? Yes, Lucy, thank you. 
Oh wait, do I have to ask like both of them? No, I think I did. I think I did ask both of them. So the next one is this guy. Oh, maybe I can give one to the dog. Excuse me, would you like a sandwich? Oh, uh, thank you. Okay, I was about to say, are you gonna say thank you or what? Can I give the last one to the dog? I've got something for you. Sleep well. Oh, I got a sticker for feeding the dog. Yay, another achievement. Puppy, collect the puppy sticker. Yay! Alright, the sandwiches are gone. Can I play now, Mom? Perfect, Lucy. Now go play with your friends. Yay! <laughs> Thank you. I can't stay with these old people any longer. And if you listen carefully, you can still hear the gurgling of the monster who lives in the well. <laughs> I'm sure it's just your stomach. There's no monster. Stop it, Red. It really scared me. Go on and tell us a story then, since you're so brave. Oh yes, I've got a perfect story, but first, I want to hear one from the girls. Come on, Raven, it's your turn. I, I don't know any. I don't spend my time thinking of stories. <laughs> Sunny, it's your turn then. But, but, scary stories? Are scary? <laughs> okay, I know one. Ooh, interesting, let's hear. Psst, thank you, Lucy. Well, well. This is the story of Redhead Timmy. A long time ago, before any of us were born, a kid named Timmy lived in town. He was a red-haired little rascal. He really enjoyed making trouble and playing hide and playing hide and seek. Playing hide and seek in the farmer's fields. One day, the farmer, tired of Timmy's pranks, decided to place a banana peel at the entrance. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> That's the silliest story I've ever heard. <laughs> Come on, I got it. It's my turn now. Okay, I was about to say it doesn't make sense, but I was trying to be funny. Thank you for laughing. Have you ever heard the true story of the forest? I bet you don't know all the details. And you do? Oh, trust me, I have my ways. I've been told that when people are taken by monsters, they get dragged to the forest in the dark, and then they're tortured for weeks. They tear people apart piece by piece. They eat the eyes first, then they go for the nails, then toes. So that's what happened to their pupils. T -t toes Yes, and fingers too. One by one by one. Then they end with the tastiest part. Brains. <laughs> Red, keep it down. Ah, I... <gasps> Oh no! Red, you know there's no shouting allowed. Go home now. Oh no, he got in trouble. Ooh. <laughs> he always has to go overboard. Where is Blue? <sighs> Blue? See? Blue's crying now. His uncle disappeared in the forest some time ago. Red always talks too much. Lucy? Lucy? Lucy, honey, are you listening? Uh, yes, yeah, sorry. I got distracted. Let's try this last section again, okay? Let me hear the last song we learned. Got a note. Cool. Oh, did we miss a note? Your voice is wonderful, Lucy. Mom, why don't the others ever sing like you do? Well, Lucy, your mom doesn't sing a lot in public, but I think you should feel free to do it. Uh huh. Red was kicked out of the festival today because he got a little carried away, as usual. I know that shouting is forbidden. There are a lot of stories about it, but the town looks so gloomy. Wouldn't it be so much better if they all sang with us? It's hard to explain, you know? Sometimes fear can take your voice away. But if you want, there are so many songs I'd like to teach you. Of course, I love singing with you. Oh my, it's so late. I had to bring back Olivia's basket this afternoon. We'll continue tomorrow, okay? Mm. 
Can you watch over the soup while I'm away? Don't let it burn. Thanks, honey. Tell Dad when he's done in the cellar. See you later. <gasps> oh, no. Why do I feel like something's going to happen to my mom? Something's going to happen because she went out in the middle of the night by herself. Okay, I'm done. Smells good. Oh, Lucy, are you alone? Where's Mom? She went to return Olivia's basket. Uh, now? But outside it's... How long has it been, Lucy? Uh, I, I didn't realize. I think it's been a while. It's already dark. Dad? Oh, no. Not the mom. She was so nice. Oh, no. Something happened, didn't it? No! But I thought they said the monster only takes ones that aren't being that good. Night, Eloise never came back home. I didn't realize this game was so sad. Oh my god. I don't want a note. I want my mom. Now we gotta sing alone. Chapter three. No, because if it gets even sadder, I don't want to do chapter three. <laughs> oh my god. Mom? Mom? Where are you? Which path am I gonna take? Uh oh. As for help? I don't know. He, he looks kind of scary. Where's mom? <gasps> Uh-oh. He's pointing. There's the clothesline. I hope we're... I hope there's a happy ending. I hope we find our mom alive and, like, not her body, like, later on in the game. Oh, God. I don't know if I want to take a look. Oh, these must be all of the missing children. Or adults. Where's mom? <gasps> Is that the well? Oh no. <gasps> mom? Is she in the well? Was that the well? What? What was that? Maybe it was just my imagination. Oh, good day, Squinty. Seems at least you slept well. I... I still can't believe it. Mom disappeared and I think it's my fault too. If only I realized in time how late it was. Squinty, I've got so many questions. People disappearing, leaving no trace behind. How is it even possible? Are they still out there somewhere? And the monster I saw that night, why didn't it take me? The truth is that I don't know anything. But maybe someone in town knows something. The old woman. The old woman seemed to have known something. She told me to be brave. Squinty, I've decided what to do next. I want to understand. I'll ask around. I'll start with Dad. Okay, Detective Squinty, let's go. Hey, at least we're being nice to the cat now. Oh no, what's this? Dad? He's not at home. What's this? You got a message. 
That's not good. Good morning, Lucy. I need to help Tom in the field today. I'll be back soon. Please don't go out alone, and don't worry about dinner. I'll take care of it. I love you, Dad. P.S. This doll is for you. Look after her. Oh. Okay, we got a doll. A gift for me. It's so soft. Dad's not here, and I can't go out. It seems that we'll have to reschedule our investigation. I would have went anyways. I'm not gonna lie, I would have went out anyways. Uh, there's someone at the door. Coming! Oh, it's you, Miss Olivia. Hi, darling, how are you feeling? I'm sorry, that was a stupid question. I... But don't stay there, come. See what I brought you. Here, the cookies are still warm. I hope you like them. Where's your dad? He's not at home. I understand. Any idea when he'll be back? I'm really sorry, darling. It must be so hard for you now that your mother is no longer here. I still remember the night when she disappeared. I just wanted to talk with your father about what happened. Excuse me, but did you see her that night? Oh, what? no, no, I didn't see anyone. It's just that she was coming to see you. She went out to return your basket. Yes, the basket. I found it in front of the door, that's it. Dad won't be home for a little while. If you wanna wait here, we can talk. I wanted to ask you so many things about Oh, what a nice doll you've got there. Is that a gift from your dad? But of course it is. How lovely. She changed the subject. I don't know. That's kind of suspicious. Why don't you go play with your new doll? I'll wait here until he's back. But I wanted to... You know what? I've got a splendid idea. Some tea would be great with, the, with these cookies. Yes, dearie. Make us some tea, good girl. No, that is suspicious. That is very, very suspicious. Okay, we have to make some tea, I guess. I don't know why I'm listening to her. She's changing the subject. Okay, we've got a saucepan. Now what? I'll need water. Okay, then we'll have to boil it, right? So what do I do now? Put it like by the fire? It won't take long. Okay, I don't know where our tea bags are though. So what do I do while I wait? Do I need like tea bags? Okay, I can't click anything there. The water isn't ready yet. Meanwhile, where did you put the tea, Dad? Oh, so we're looking for tea. Okay. Yeah, it's been morning for so long that you're already tired, aren't you? The life of a cat. Sorry, y'all. I didn't read it because the first time when we clicked it at the beginning, it said that's where they keep stuff. So I thought I was going to say that again. But this is where the spices were and the labels are messed up. So we're trying to fix the labels, I guess. There we go. And I guess that's what we're doing. Wow, this puzzle is going to take a while. <gasps> Yay, we finished one. Woohoo! All right, we got one done. Beautiful. All right, all right. We pretty much got it. I kind of skipped to this part because it took a while. Um, it was a lot of thinking and a lot of thought process and I didn't want you guys to have to go through 10 minutes of that. Um, but this is about what it looks like. So you just kind of fit the pieces in and voila. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay, so this must be the tea. Now I can tell what's tea and what's chili powder. All right, we got tea leaves. And I bet the water's done now. Beautiful. Ah, the water is boiling. OK, 
Okay, we've got hot water. Ouch, it burns. Yeah, you probably should have used some oven mitts or something. Can I? Oh, I can't set it there. I guess I have to combine them. There we go. You've got tea. Is she gonna like... No, I can't combine that. Okay, that's fine. Thanks, honey. Oh, delicious. Oh, we can use our song on her maybe. It's not the same as your father's, but, but you definitely are his daughter, darling. Of course, I'm not a kid anymore. I can take care of things. True, true. You're no longer a child. Oh, they grow up so fast. So you can tell me what you wanted to tell dad? Oh, well, but why don't you go outside and play, Lucy? Today is a beautiful day. I'll just sit here and sip your tea as I wait for your father. Be a good girl. Nothing. Nothing. I couldn't convince her with tea. I have to find another way. The music thing unlocked, so let's try this. Haha, <laughs> yes. All right, so some kids are playing with the ball. Oh, perfect. Let's do it. Let's fix her memory. I mean, her thought, her memory. <laughs> Let's fix her memory. Something though, I think that was close. This way, this way, okay. Oh, it was so close. Maybe we're not supposed to start from there. Maybe, 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 we do this. I don't like that. Uh. This. <gasps> Aha! Oh my god. Okay, okay. Now we should be able to get it to work. Yes! Okay, do this. <gasps> yes! We did it! Aha! I forgot that there's other X's that we can use. Okay. Playing ball. Kids playing ball. Ball went in the forest. Oh no! I gotta get the ball! All right, got the ball. Oh, she's still crying, big ass baby. Oh, I just remembered a story from when I was little. You know, your mother was always very reckless. One time our ball ended up in the forest and she was so bold she went after it alone. Can you imagine? Into the forest. She was not afraid of, of them. But she should have been. I've had the impression lately that they were stalking her. Oh my, and I was her best friend. No, no. They must have seen you with your mother so often that... Wait a second, what do you think? What are you talking about? Lucy, Lucy darling, you... You're afraid of monsters, right? You never go near the forest, right? You must never do it. They see it when you do. If your mother's been taken, they'll have their eyes on us. Don't go near the forest, Lucy. Sorry, Lucy, I... I think I know where my father could be. I'll go looking for him. Oh, oh yes. Yes, dear. Okay. Wow, that singing is like a superpower. I like it. I like it. <gasps> Olivia, she scared me. Whenever I try to understand, adults always scare me off. I don't care. I won't give up. I want to know what happened to mom. I will ask around and take notes. I could use dad's letter to write down clues. Okay, here's our notes. Let the investigation begin. Oh, there's our mom. Mom, I'd like to know what happened. Oh, the dog! <laughs> Hello, Cole. What's wrong? You look sad today. What's with this hat? What? What's that? You don't want me to take it? Cool, I won't take it away if you don't want me to. The woodworker must have lost it. What if this is a woodworker's dog? Maybe he disappeared too, and that's why the dog doesn't want me to take the hat. Hey there, how are you? Keeping myself fit for some hard work. Are you fixing the pipes? Oh, ho, ho, that's I am. I used to be a plumber, you know. I just couldn't take a look at these broken pipes without feeling guilty. That's great, actually. We haven't been able to get water from the fountain in a very long time. 
Ha ha ha, don't worry, kid. When I'm done, you'll have all the water you want. Great. Enjoy it then. Thanks, kid. Should I sing to him? Okay, what is he thinking of? Oh, his hat. Or a hat. Shame, though. Looks like it's going to take longer than I thought. I'm glad I've got my hat or the sun would have burnt my head. I've never seen you with that hat before. It looks good. Haha, <laughs> it does, doesn't it? It was a gift from my father when I wasn't much taller than you are now. What happened then? Did he disappear into the forest? Nope. Sometimes people die of old age too, you know? Aha, I see. Two? Okay. So he's not going to be much help. Let's go back into town. Let's see. Let's see. Where else could we go? Oh, who's this? That little girl. Excuse me, may I? Ugh. I don't know what a grunt is. Ugh, I don't know. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I don't know what a grunt would be. What are you mumbling, little girl? Go play elsewhere. Ugh. I bet he would want the hat, but I'm not sure how to lure the dog off. So let's go this way and see if there's something over here, I guess. Oh, there's somebody else. The mean guy we gave the candy to. Stop right there. No one passes, and especially not spies like you. Still on guard, Silver? Of course, I'm the best. Did you get kicked out of their games again? Yeah, I'm the best at that too. But that's totally your fault, spy. I haven't forgotten. Anyway, I have to stay here so you can't pass. Okay, we're gonna sing to him. Is he thinking about bread? <gasps> yeah, we get to fix the thought. All right, so it looks like we went the right direction. Man, they look like they get harder and harder as we go. Okay, so far so good. Oh, that's not it. Yes! Okay. Yay, we got it! Our first try, sweet. Okay, we fixed his thought. So, kneading bread or dough, putting it in the bakery. So did he used to work for the baker? Because I know the baker said he went in the forest to look for his son. That can't be his son, can it? Stupid Black. Why does he have to be so bossy? Uh, what are you talking about? He wanted to punish me because I let you bribe me with candy. He took a precious gift from me and hid it. Hmm, yeah, I can see, I can see him doing that. I can't even leave to go look for it. It's not fair. What if I found it for you? Then won't you let me pass? Hmm, I don't know. You know what? Black doesn't deserve my loyalty. If you find my gift, you can pass through whenever you want. Deal. Okay, so we're gonna go look for what he hid. That's closed. It's not gonna be in there. Oh, there's another person. We're gonna talk to her really quick. Hi. Hmm, who you are? Lucy. Ah, uh, yes, Eloise's daughter. May I ask you a few questions? Question? You kids should just be playing and fooling around. Leave questions to adults, dear. Do you know what monsters really look like? Have you ever seen one? What? Young lady, we don't talk about such things. But I want to know more. The monsters have kidnapped my mom and... Ah, of course. I understand the problem, but... This is no good, child. You can't just go around bothering everyone with your questions. You are not the only one who has lost someone, dear. Has it happened to you, too? See, this is precisely the sort of question you shouldn't be asking. S sorry. Remember this, kid. Rules protect us. Those who don't respect them find themselves gone. For good. You will accept this with time. If someone disappears, it's always their fault. That's not true. Mom's never done anything wrong. Foolish girl, don't raise your voice. Duh, I'm just wasting my time with you. That is so sad. I know the forest is dangerous, and I never go there, but I was wondering... What does it really look like? Gosh, is that what kids nowadays think about? I was just thinking that maybe if I knew it better, I'd be safer. Little girl, you shouldn't be interested in such things. Just follow the rules and you'll be fine. I've been living my whole I've been living here my whole life. 
Things have always been like this. There was nothing else you need to know. Excuse me, I have to go. Okay, looks like there's kids laughing and having fun, maybe? I'm not sure what's going on there. They're just playing. Oh, she's sad now. Oh, maybe they're teasing her. They're picking on her. The soothing sound of running water. This river was already here when I was a kid. I'm happy that despite all these years, the town is still here as it once was. People, though. People are not here anymore. What do you mean? I've seen many faces on and off these walls through the years. Oh. Why do we hang up posters of missing people if nobody goes looking for them? No, no. The posters are just there to let us know who disappeared, not to help us find them. But has anyone ever tried? Only fools try. They always find the end they deserve. Monsters waiting for them, and no way to come home. Wow. It sounds like the ones who deserve to be swiped by the monster are people like this lady. Over here saying that they deserve it, and they got what they deserve. I mean, Jesus Christ. That's horrible. They deserved it. If you've been swiped by a monster, you must have done something bad. Or there's just something evil lurking about. Jeez. It's locked. Olivia must still be at my house. Oh! There's Sunny. Hi, Sunny. Hi, Lucy. If you're looking for the others, they're all playing by the bench. And what are you doing? Mom asked me to prune the plants. They're getting a little out of control. Ah, having fun? Well, the small leaves are tedious, but with the big ones, you feel like you're making a lot of progress. It's not bad. Okay, that's not true. It's really boring. But you know how Mom is. Duty first and duty, and duty after. What are you doing around here? I'm running an investigation. Mind if I ask you some questions? Sure, go ahead. That old man down there. It seems like he's mad at you for something. That man over there keeps staring at me. I think maybe he hates me, but I don't know why. He seems important. It's making me nervous. If you want, I can try talking to him. Are you sure he won't get angrier? Don't worry. I'll be nice to him. You know my mom? I heard. I'm very sorry. How are you? Well, I've been better. No one at my family has ever disappeared, so I can't imagine how you're feeling. But if you need a friend, you know where to find me. Thanks, Sonny. And Lucy? What's up? I know you're brave, but don't try to go looking for her in the forest. I'm serious. I wouldn't, I wouldn't want my best friend taken by monsters. Sonny, you're the responsible one, not me. Lucy. <laughs> I'm joking. Don't worry. I won't go anywhere. I just want to learn more about the missing people. I know. I understand. Adults don't tell us everything. You've noticed it too? Yes, but I'm sure they do it for our own good. They don't want us to worry. And the same goes for me. Don't make me worry about you. Okay, I won't. What do you know about monsters? Well, they live in the forest. They roar at night and kidnap people. Yeah, but like, what do they look like? Well, I imagine them being ugly with lots of eyes and some thick black fur. I think I saw one. You know, the night when my mother... Seriously, were you scared? It was just for a moment. I ran away immediately. I remember its white mantle and its roar. It must have been horrible. You know you're the only one I've told this to. Oh, Lucy, you shouldn't tell anyone else. Adults are always freaked out by these stories. I don't know what they would think. They're the ones who told us about the monsters, though. And if they thought it was there to take you, I don't think it was. It didn't follow me. Imagine their reactions. I don't trust the others either. We're all too afraid. I wasn't planning to tell the others, just you. All right, Lucy, be careful. Have you ever been to the forest? Of course not. My parents get angry if I'm late for dinner. I can't imagine what they'd do if I went into the forest. I've never been there either. The only one who can go there is the woodworker. You might ask him, however. Asking adults these questions isn't a good idea. They don't like talking about it. Got it. Thank you. Okay, let's try singing to her and see if it does anything. Okay, just like say she's playing balls with her friends. That's it. Nothing important. Hey, there's somebody in that house. Sonny's mom is always in the kitchen making sweets. I rarely see her around. They say if they say if you meet her on the street, she'll give you cookies. She's so nice. But Sonny has to help her out so much. Alright. Maybe we can go up here. I know we're supposed to talk to the mannequin, but I want to go up here first. Is there anything over here? Oh! 
Grandma. That's my mom's song. Do you know it? Oh, what is it, Lucy? Want me to... You want to ask me something? She is creepy. How did she know that? Have you ever seen the monsters? Yep, of course. All the time. R really? I remember the last one very well. Twas a frenzied farmer screaming at his hens. A terrifying vision. <laughs> ah, I understand. That kind of monster. To me, they are the real monsters. You, do you know anything about the forest? Well, it's a place full of trees. What kind of forest are you talking about? There is only one kind of forest. The one where people disappear. Oh, that one. Of course. Sure. That's how the forest must look to your eyes. You're so young. Why? Was it different before? People don't talk about it. How could they talk about times when things went better? If all they could do now is fear the present. Oh. I know that song. Oh, so what? <laughs> so what? So why are you singing it? Because I sang it way before your mother. Huh? What are you saying? Who do you think taught her? Me, of course. I don't believe you. Everyone says you're crazy and she's and she never told me about you. Well, of course, your mother doesn't know me. I'm just a crazy old lady. Singing is just for frivolous people. Singing is not frivolous. Well then, would you like to know how the song continues? Yup. Listen well. Oh, we got a note. Yay. You are a very promising little girl, Lucy. Oh my, it's almost time. Uh, for what? Ah, I was wrong. My watch is broken. <laughs> You said the forest used to be different. Can you tell me the whole story? Of course. Once you know, the, once you know, the forest was inhabited by so many happy birds. But then one terrible day, the king of the forest decided to keep with him those birds who chirped the best. Eh? Eventually they quarreled and... Wait, what happened next? I don't... What are you talking about? Oh yes, maybe they were all devoured by monsters. End of story. <laughs> Yeah, okay, I get it. Hmm, she always seems to be making fun of me. Was there anything else you wanted to know, dear? No, there's nothing else I wanted to know. Oh, apparently we learned a new song, though. Some items can hide precious memories. This song can help people recall those memories. Okay, another puzzle. Rotate the self to create a path and solve the labyrinth. Okay. Oh! Okay, there we go. So the gears help connect it, I guess? I don't know. I don't know. That puzzle was... I don't know. That puzzle stumped me. That's weird. I guess we'll talk to the old man again. There's no one here who knows how to treat flowers right. They have no passion for it. That's why he's mad? Bro, she's a kid. Well, these flower beds look beautiful. Perhaps they only need some water. Water? There are dry leaves everywhere. Old branches that need to be cleaned up and the ground is too hard. It's not a flower bed, it's a forest. Oh, so are you a gardener? Gardener? Who, me? You young brats don't know anything. Well, if I may, I'd like to ask you some questions about the town. Wow, he's kind of, he's kind of an asshole. Where did you learn how to take care of flowers? It's obvious enough, but I guess they don't teach you kids anything nowadays. All right. Do you have any idea what the monsters look like? They definitely resemble brats like you. Leave me alone. What can you tell me about the forest? Haven't they taught you anything? No, I mean, have you ever gone there? To do what? Talk with monsters? You couldn't, you couldn't have asked a more stupid question. Wow, he sounds, he sounds lovely. All right. Oh, he must used to plant flowers with his mom. Yes, a broken memory. 
I mean, why do I keep calling it a memory? A broken thought. Let's fix it. So that he can tell us what he doesn't want to tell us. Move this way. Oh, that one was easy. Perfect. Okay, so it looks like him planting flowers with a mom when he was a little boy. She gave him his own flower. Maybe he killed it and he feels bad for it. Once this place was full of thi the biscuits. The biscuits. Once this place was full of the biscuits flowers. What did they look like? You can't see them around here because nobody keeps them anymore. It's a beautiful blue cobalt flower with wide petals. I think I have seen that before. Okay, so we spoke with him. Let's see. Oh, can we go through the fence? Hi, bunnies. Lots of fun staying in that cage, right? Probably not. It's kind of a dumb question. A home for domestic honeybees. They sting just like the wild ones. One of Red's courage tests was to stick your hand in the hole. I've never done it, obviously. <laughs> huh. It's empty. There aren't any bees. I found a key, though. Oh, we got a key. Sweet. I wonder what it's for. Various materials. I think Farmer uses them to repair the animal shelters when necessary. Get off my field. Don't come any closer, or you'll ruin the whole harvest. Always a pleasure. We need something on, that the scarecrow has. What are you doing here, little girl? This is my field, not a playground. Go bother someone else. That surly old man, and he complains about our pranks. He deserves them. Excuse me, can I ask you something? I'm working. I want to know everything about people who disappear. Can you tell me anything? What's there to tell? They didn't respect the rules. Your father told you a million times, so don't think I don't know what you're doing. Excuse me? You're here on behalf of your snot-nosed friends. You're hoping I'm next to disappear, right? I'm sorry, but it will never happen. I know very well how to live here. Certainly not like kids who bother people while they're working. Keep on like this and they'll end up taking you too. You'll see. But I didn't say anything wrong. I've known your father for a long time, and I'm telling you for his sake. Behave, miss. Ram. Have you ever been to the forest? What? Who told you that? N no one. I was just asking. That's ridiculous. Everyone knows going to the forest is madness. Tell me, do I look mad to you? But I didn't... Psst, kids nowadays. Have you ever seen a monster? No, no. That's not how it works. The monsters are the ones watching us, deciding who will be next. People who raise their voices too much, the loud ones, those are the ones they prefer. So the rule is simple. Stay quiet. Uh-huh. All right. Thanks, sir. Uh. Uh. I guess we can't pass him either. All right. We're, we're going <laughs> to... We're going to leave you to it, sir. Okay. I don't know where else to go. We've already... Wait, we haven't been in here. Yikes! That sack of flour just moved. That is weird. Who's there? Can we use this on it? but it worked. Yay! I don't know why we needed to do that, though. Ah! You found me! Oh, it's just you, Lucy. What are you doing here? You weren't playing hide-and-seek. Now they'll find me. The others aren't playing anymore. They're by the bench doing other stuff. 
Aw. Aw, they didn't tell me. Well, do you want to play with me, Lucy? Not really. Would you like to chat for a bit? Sure. And then Olivia started telling me all these strange things about monsters. I got scared and left. Ah, adults always do that. I'm trying to find out what I can. I was told that my uncle was taken away by monsters because he used to talk too loud. He always made me laugh. I enjoyed staying with him. I want to find out what happens to people who disappear. Can I ask you some questions? Sure, go ahead. Do you know how he disappeared? He was playing hide and seek with me, my favorite game. It was his turn to hide, but I couldn't really find him that time. I asked the adults to help. They didn't find him either. They said that maybe he hid in the forest and got himself lost. Are you crazy? Don't you know what's forbidden? The monsters would take me away too. Okay, so he didn't go in the forest to look for him. See you later. Sure, bye. What's this? A toolbox. It must be the farmer's. It's locked. Typical of him. <gasps> Wait, don't we have a key? Perfect. Let's see. Oh, what's this? You got a hammer. I don't know what I need that for. I don't need anything else, I guess. Oh, wait. And a hook. I'm not sure what that's for either. A piece of rusty scrap. A piece of rusty scrap. Is that... Oh, it's going to say that for everything. I guess that's all I needed. Oh, here we go. All right, well, now it's letting me leave. I was just being dumb, I guess. I bet we can go this way now. Maybe we can set the rabbits free because it's rabbit season. We can, yes. I will save you, little bunny rabbits. What? Ugh, not again. Get back here. Again? <laughs> this happened before? I believe the farmer will be looking for them all day. Maybe that was a bit drastic, but those rabbits needed some air. Now we can grab whatever the heck this is. I don't know why I went all the way around. It's a scarecrow. It scares birds with a passion for cooking? It's holding a peel for some reason. A passion for cooking. <gasps> I bet that's what the boy was looking for. That's what that boy wants. So now we can go talk to him. But I kind of want to see what was on the other side first since it wouldn't let us explore anything. Let's see. If I'm not mistaken, Dad works here. He learned a lot of skills here. Tom is really obnoxious with us kids, but I think he gets along with Dad. Better not draw his attention. He told me to stay inside. What's this? Hmm, cherries. They're too high up. Do I need them? I must need them for something. Those are the hens. I guess that's all that's over here. Let's go. Ah, here we are. Let's give him back his item, I guess. Look, this is your gift, right? Yes, Lucy, that's it. Thank you. Remember your promise. Of course, you can pass now. Woo! Hey, what's up? I'm getting my revenge on Black. He thinks he can beat me in animal races. This frog is unbeatable. It definitely has magical powers. Magical, of course. Can I ask you some questions? Shoot. You often talk about how good you are at discovering other people's secrets. Could you tell me something about the forest? I won't tell you anything. What? Why? Look, I know you think I made up all my stories. Since you're such a know-it-all, I won't tell you anything. Ah, is that it? Then I... Let's see... Haha, <laughs> you're stupid. Do you want to know more about the forest? Then go there yourself and come back to tell us all the terrible things you saw. The truth is, you don't know anything. Wrong. Just wrong. Why don't you beat me at an animal race? If you can, I'll tell you all I know. In case I clicked too fast, I called him a coward. That's what kind of set him off. All of nothing is still nothing. Whatever. You've built a nice track here. How does this work? Black and I both put our champions on track, and the first one who reaches the finish line wins. Black just has a sleepy dormouse, so he's going to lose for sure. What powers does your frog have? It jumps! Oh! Hee <laughs> hee That story about the monsters you told us at the party, you made that up, right? You should learn to spy more on the adults when they're talking. They say a lot of interesting things when kids aren't supposed to be listening. Who can say if I made it up? You're asking a lot of suspicious questions lately. What are you up to? 
Nothing. What are you talking about? What a shame. It would have been more fun. Okay. It's a track that the others are using to make animal races against each other. Red and Black really put a lot of work into this. I wonder where I wonder where they stole the materials to make it. Oh, cool. Help the hedgehog win the race. It's very simple. Click as fast as you can to make the hedgehog go faster. Okay. Shit, we're gonna lose. Go hedgehog, go, go hedgehog, go, go hedgehog, go, 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 go. The frog is beating us now. Come on, hedgehog, you can do it. You can do it. You can do it. <laughs> Success. You are the wiener. I won. True, not bad for a girl. What can you tell me about monsters? And not the same old stories about roars and disappearances. We all know about that stuff. Do we? Do you believe that? Eh. You've been deceived. It's just a fairy tale that adults tell us. They're using the monsters to get rid of people they don't like. When they're fed up with you, they get you out of your home and the monsters take care of the rest. What? What are you talking about? The adults, they hate us and want to keep us on a leash. I don't believe you. Do you have any evidence? I just know it. That's enough for me. If you want to live your fairy tale of good parents who love children, have fun. I know what game they're playing and they won't fool me anymore. But know this. The day they decide to get rid of me, they will not find me. I'll live hidden away in these alleys and they'll never take me. Uh, I don't know how much I can trust red stories. Okay, let's talk to someone else. Come on, I'm counting on you, hedgehog. Hi, Black. Hi, Lucy. Check out this speedy hedgehog I found. It's definitely going to win. Mm-hmm, of course. Listen, I want to ask you. I like watching the forest from that little wall. It doesn't seem so threatening from here. Well, obviously it's new. You should see it at night. Even the adults tremble when it's dark out. Any idea why no one goes near it? What are you, stupid? I told you, it's only a problem at night. During the day, adults go there. Otherwise, how would we have wood for the fireplace? I didn't mean by day, and you don't have to call me names over it. Uh, oh no, the hedgehog is losing ground. Come on, don't give up. Have you ever seen a monster? Oh yeah, of course, Lucy. I see one at night all the time, passing under my window. Seriously? Tell me more. No way. Who's to say you won't go telling everyone? I won't do that. Maybe. I could tell you a secret, but only if you play with us first. You too. Ugh. All right, but only for a bit, okay? No, you have to win, but you won't be able to. You're just a little girl. So bossy. How's it going? Red has a frog, but I found a super hedgehog. Raven thinks I'm too stupid to win this game, but she'll see. Maybe. I think so too. A hedgehog? You will You will all see. Alright, so we gotta play again. It's a track that the others are using. Uh, challenge black. Help the, help the frog win. Click anywhere to make a jump. Okay. If the bar, if the bar is full. Okay. Oh, I see. Beat the fucking hedgehog. You can do it, frog. You can do it, frog. You can do it. You green, slimy, disgusting thing. Oh, oh, oh. We did it. Yeah, so much for girls not being able to win. You thought, you thought. Ugh. I beat you. Tell me everything you know. You cheated. Do you want to cry in front of Red? Ugh. So you said you saw a monster. What's it like? It's scary. At night when someone disappears, I hear it gnawing on the bones of its victims. It has a huge spider head, flaming eyes, and long, slimy tentacles. You'd scream if you saw it. I know it looked like a spider. I called it. No, it's gonna be a fucking spider. Bro. Black? Did you challenge me to a game just to tell me this? You're a liar. You just want to copy Red and his scary stories. Don't you dare call me a liar. Stop telling me made up stories then. I won your challenge and now you want to tell me a secret, a real one, or I'll tell everyone what a liar you are. You? You're the worst. Okay, okay. You know Blue. Uh, what about him? I know a secret. He was Luca's only friend. You know the baker's son who disappeared? Really? I had no idea. He never mentioned it. I just saw them together by chance on this very street. Luca was a strange kid. Being his friend meant getting looked down on by everyone, but Blue was too dumb to care about stuff like that. Luca, 
He was always so shy. He wasn't part of our group, but I remember well when he disappeared. Well, Luca's poster was only hung up a few days after his disappearance. But strangely, Blue had already stopped coming to look for him here. What's strange about it? I think Blue knew about Luca's disappearance long before the adults. Maybe he discovered something mysterious. I don't know, but I think I'll ask him. Thanks, Black. Interesting. Hi, Raven. What are you doing? Red found a new pet to use in his races against Black. Ah, another one. I already know who's going to win, though. Black's animals are always slow. Fast ones are too smart for him. I want to talk to you about something. I'm trying to find out more about the people who disappeared. Do you know anything? Not really. My family takes this all so seriously. No one's ever disappeared. People like that, they don't get lost in the forest. Don't you ever worry that something could happen to them anyways? Even if I did, it wouldn't matter to me. They're just living in fear every day. I can't stand them. I keep talking about this aunt or that neighbor who disappeared. They're so sure that one day it'll happen to us too. One day I'm going to the forest on my own. I want to see if monsters really exist. You don't mean that, do you? Hey Black, have you ever been to the forest? Find any monsters there? Huh? What are you saying, Raven? I've never set foot in it. Do you think I'm crazy? Hmm, <laughs> you're useless, as always. What did I do now? <laughs> I'm sorry, Lucy, but I can't really help you. I understand. Have you ever seen a monster? Well, what? I hear their voices. You mean the roars? Not only those. You can hear it too. So the singing. I keep forgetting to read that too. Yep, it sounds like voices. I've heard it ever since the evening when, when my mother disappeared. It's terrifying and sad. I thought I was the only one. Any idea where you can hear it? I don't know, but it scares me. It almost seems to call to me. I've never told anyone. I was afraid that... Yeah, I don't think the others hear it. I haven't told Dad either. If I told my parents, they'd lose it. They are obsessed with monsters. Listen, would you like to talk about something else? Yes, yes, okay. Oh, I guess that's it. Alright, so we spoke to all of them. Alright, let's see what he knows. Roar! Here comes the monster! I'm not gonna go with the others. They were pretty mean today. So, do you want to play the invading monster with me? Uh, no. Not now. Can I ask you some questions again? Okay. Okay, Luca the baker's son. Did you ever talk to Luca? Yes, sometimes. Were you friends? Well, yes, maybe. He was to me, at least. He liked being alone. I think he was also older than us. I admired him. He taught me lots of things about hide-and-seek and camping, too. I know he wasn't comfortable with the others, but with me, it was different. Of course, he still treated me like a kid, but I think he trusted me. But I admit that I never got him completely. He often spoke about things I didn't understand. I'm sorry. I should have talked with you as soon as he disappeared. You couldn't have known. No one knew, and I didn't talk much about it. Because I think it might be my fault. How so? Did you do something wrong? No, I didn't do anything. One day he was here, and the next, poof, he was gone. I just know that the people around me keep disappearing, one after the other, so maybe I'm the problem. I'm so afraid I'll be alone. It's not like that, I'm sure. In any case, I won't disappear. You don't know that, better knock on some wood. Thanks, Lucy. Did you ever find out what happened? In the last few days, he was saying some strange things, stranger than normal, and I didn't see him around as much. One day I went looking for him at our usual place, but he wasn't there. All of his things were gone too, it was weird. I looked for him for quite a while, but I didn't find him anywhere. A few days later, his poster was hanging up and they said he disappeared. I had already guessed it by then. Remember anything unusual before that happened? Well, just the things he talked about. He told me about the roars from the forest and how if you listen carefully, you can hear something more in them, like a song. I thought a lot about his words, and you know, I have a theory now. I think the forest deceives you. First you hear its voice, and then you disappear. Huh, interesting. I have to go. See you later. Sure, bye. Let's go back to where the old lady was, maybe. Huh, the old woman left. She's not here anymore. <gasps> oh! We got a crate. We can grab the rake too, I guess. This could be useful. You got a rake. 
I don't know why I need that. Okay, so I guess it's a good thing we came back to the old lady's spot. Where did she go? Where would a crazy old bat go anyways? <laughs> I don't even know if she's crazy. I mean, maybe she really did know our mom. I don't know. Now, I know that there was something over here that we couldn't reach. The cherries? I don't know why we needed cherries, but maybe the crate can help. Let's see. With that. Okay. We can at least get some cherries. You got a branch full of cherries. Oh, I broke the crate. Ouch, that hurt. But I've got lots of cherries now. Okay, we've got cherries. Now, at the very beginning of this chapter, the dog was very attached to the hat. I wonder if we can use one of our memory thought thingies on the hat. <gasps> we can. Beautiful. <laughs> All right, let's see. Crap, the concentration. All right. Oh, he wanted to go with him, maybe? Does he want to go with him? He wants to follow his owner. Yeah. It's tied too tight. How can I untie it? Okay, well, we know that Sunny um, has a tool that maybe we could use. I just don't know if she'll let us use it. Hi, Sunny. <gasps> yeah, the shears, maybe. Listen, could I borrow those for a moment? My pruning shears? I don't know about that. I'll give them back in the blink of an eye. If mom found out I loaned her tools to one of my friends, she'd go ballistic. I don't want to be in trouble again. Are you talking about the time you lent me your mom's pots and pans for a basket of cherries? That and other times too. Your ideas always end with me spending an afternoon getting scolded. But you like cherries. I love cherries, but I'm not kidding, Lucy. Mom's always keeping an eye on me. Don't want, I don't want any trouble. Okay, okay, I understand. Okay, should I bribe her with cherries? Maybe the cherries are for her. <gasps> they are. Sunny. And where did you get this? If that comes from the farmer's field, I would love to see his face when he notices it's missing. I couldn't really see his face, to be honest. He was too busy chasing his rabbits. <laughs> I can't believe you did that. <laughs> Uh-oh. Sonny, what's going on? For heaven's sake, keep your voice down. Uh, Mom? Hi, Lucy. I see you're here, too. Hi. Please behave. I don't want anything to happen to you. We will. We're sorry. <laughs> that could have been worse. Now what should I do with these, Lucy? Eat them, and in return, you want the pruning shears, right? Well, you'll need free hands to eat those cherries. You are impossible and fine, you can borrow them, but first. There's just one problem. If mom sees me slacking off, she'll start asking questions. We need to make it look like I'm still working. I can't move from here. Uh, I'll think of something. And I bet that's where the rake comes in handy. Ba -da -da -da. Sunny, I have an idea. Use this to rake up the leaves on the ground. I'm sure your mother won't have anything against that. Oh, sounds great. Fine, Lucy, here are the shears. Bring them back as soon as you're done, okay? Of course. We did it. Don't do anything dangerous. Yay, we did it. Oh my gosh, let's go free the dog. I'm coming, little doggo, I'm coming. 
Go now, you're free. Well, where are you headed now? Okay, we got some rope. Um, and I think we need to follow the dog, so let's go. Wait, dog, wait for us, we're coming. Oh, is he going to the forest? There he is. Wait! That must be where his owner went. Hey, what are you doing here? The forest is dangerous. Come on, let's go back. Wait! Oh! It's getting farther and farther away. <gasps> no! Did the monster eat him? Ah! Where, where are you? There's something stuck to on the gate. It's Cole's fur. I guess he went into the forest. Will he be okay? Oh, we got a sticker. Of course he's not gonna be okay. We literally were watching him walk away. Okay, I guess that's all we needed for that part. We got another sticker though, which was pretty cool. But now what do I do? What do I have now? We, have, we already used the mallet. We've already used the shears. Do I need to get the shears back? Here's your shears. Thanks, Lucy. I was starting to worry. Okay, so she's got that. I don't need the rake anymore. Okay, now what do we have? So we have a rope. Can we combine them, maybe? We can. Okay, now it's a grappling hook. Maybe that's how... <gasps> Okay, maybe that's how we get the flower. I know it was a while ago, but do you guys remember when we talked to this old man down here? He was talking about the flower that he liked that I cannot pronounce and I'm not about to try it. And that was at What's Her Face's house. Wait, wait, I can't see. Oh, right here. I thought I needed it for the flower. Adventure time. That wasn't so hard. Oh, I used it to climb the fence. Okay, I guess I want to be long enough for me to just lasso the flower pot. Olivia cares a lot about her flowers. This one in particular is lovely. Oh, Olivia, that's her name, not the vegetable lady. You got a thigh, a thibicus flower. Did I, how do I say that? Thibicus, thibs, thibs, thibicus, is that? Okay, if anyone's watching and you make it to this part, how do I pronounce this flower? <laughs> if you know how, help. <laughs> Better not tell her I took one. Olivia could come home at any moment. Now I'd better get out of here. I should hide the evidence. <laughs> Good, now my crime will go unnoticed. Let's hope it was worth it. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, so do I give it to the old man? Excuse me, is this a thibicus? Where did you find that? Let me see. It really is a thibicus. Did you know that with the right care, the cup flowers can live for up to a month? Unfortunately, I, I won't be able to make it that long. She would have known how. She who? I'd like to ask you some questions. She who? Who were you talking about earlier? He's no longer listening. <laughs> I guess nothing.
perfecto. Muy perfecto. Muy, right? That's very in Spanish, right? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> oh, I wonder if that was his mom, maybe? Wait, no. She looks too young to be his mom. Now I remember. I'd like to ask you some questions. That person who taught you all these things about flowers. My sister said that the secret is in the amount of water. Oh, it was his sister. Okay, so she was too young to be his mom. Okay. <laughs> they don't need a lot of it. Otherwise, they'll rot. She had a real passion for these flowers. And it wasn't just that. She took care of us all, as if we were the flowers of her favorite garden. But then she left us only weeds. She disappeared into the forest. She was so responsible, yet she lost her way so easily. She abandoned us. I haven't forgiven her. How did it happen? Those cursed monsters. Didn't you try to save her? Little girl, monsters exist and cannot be defeated. They will always be out there in the forest. This is why we have rules to stick together. Do not forget that. This, I don't have a place to keep it. Maybe I should throw it away. No, I'll take it. Yes, yes, whatever. Perfect, I think it's good to go home now. Great, dad isn't back yet. I learned a lot today, so let's see. The forest deceives you. Who knows what that means? And then there's those voices. Maybe the monsters trick people and somehow drag them into the forest. Maybe it happened to mom too. If that's true, then we need to save her. Everyone told me we shouldn't look for those who disappeared, but we should try, I'm sure of it. I need a backpack, some rations, and, and... If I told dad, would he come with me? Oh, I guess we're gonna find out. Dad, hi! Lucy, so you're home now? I was out looking for you. Tom saw you poking around in his field. Didn't you read the note? Why did you leave the house? No, it's not like that. I was at home, then Olivia came. She said it was important, so I went looking for you. But you were busy, and when I came back home, Olivia was already gone. Are you sure? Absolutely, yes. Uh-huh. Okay, I'll have to see her later. Hey, wanna know what happened today? Hmm? Oh, hmm? <laughs> I discovered how Mom's song continues. Don't. No. Stop. What? But it's Mom's song. Lucy, I'm not in the mood. Oh. Tell me, where did you learn this? From this weird old lady. She says she taught mom all those songs. You talked with the crazy old woman? Lucy, you must never listen to what she says. Stay away from her. But she seems to know things about the forest. Maybe she could help us. Enough. <laughs> Enough, it's so dramatic. She will not talk to her. Oh, she? <laughs> you will not talk to her. That's final. No. <laughs> I always have to listen, but there's never a reason. Lucy. None of you adults tell us anything. You only talk about what to do, what not to do. But then people disappear and you just stand there doing nothing. And mom... Mom disappeared and no one's looking for her. She's waiting for us. She needs help. I, I don't know where mom is. Lucy. Lucy, listen. <laughs> I know you want answers. Let me tell you a story. It's important, so listen carefully. Here, sit for a while. It's a story that takes place when I was around your age. You see, your mom and I and another girl were great friends. That girl was my sister. We also thought that what the adults were doing wasn't quite right, so I know how you're feeling. 
One day, when another kid disappeared, we decided to go looking for him. We were sure it was the right thing to do. But we were wrong. That day, my sister never came back. Believe me when I say that I know how you're feeling right now, Lucy. But Mom and I learned the hard way that the rules in this town are the only way we stick together. There is no way to find those who are gone. Monsters exist, but as long as we behave, they won't be able to take us. Do you understand this? Will you promise that you won't go after her, Lucy? Yes. Is... is it true that the forest was different once? Is this another tale from that crazy old lady? Her words are just fantasy. But we have to stay together and face the truth. No more songs. No more research. It's for your own good. Will you let me protect you? I miss her. I miss her too. a good mom too she was so good and they they took her i thought they said they only the monsters only take bad people i don't understand i need to know i need the story to tell me not in her bed. Did she go by herself? Is she going to save her mom? Are we going to do it? Are we in the forest? Oh, I'm ready. Come on. Come on. Take us to the forest. Oh, chapter four. All right, chapter four. Maybe we'll start uncovering some secrets now. Run away. Run. <laughs> My God, shut up. Shut the fuck up. Run away. <sighs> oh, God. The eyes are, like, so creepy. Okay, we're surrounded by the children again. I wonder if we're going to go down the well. Or maybe, <gasps> maybe we are going down the well. Well, they pushed us. Those little bitches. Wait, no, no, I'm looking in the mirror. Oh, oh, I'm gonna see how ugly I am. It's gonna break. And shatter. Yep, what I say? What I, oh. <gasps> or it was foreshadowing that we're the next one the monster's gonna take. The voices from the forest. I heard them again last night. They're scary and melancholic. I promise no more questions. I wish they'd stop altogether. Uh, Squinty's not in my drawer. Strange. Who knows where he's gone? I forgot to return this to the farmer's toolbox. It could still be useful though. Okay, we got our hammer back. Do we need our slingshot again? The sling didn't last long. It's okay though, I'll keep it as a memento. Dad's room is still locked. It doesn't say mom and dad's room anymore. That's sad. It just says dad's room. It's an old broken mirror. It belonged to my grandparents. Okay, I know we looked at that at the beginning. I just want to make sure. I'm looking for more stickers. Good morning, Lucy. I'm making breakfast. What would you like? Mayonnaise or jam sandwich? Ew. Ooh, tough choice. Jam? Uh, dad, have you seen Squinty? He hasn't eaten yet. Well, he doesn't usually go far. He must be hiding in some drawer. Uh, okay. I'll look for him a bit more. Oh, what's this? Ooh, a spare cord. Mine. Got a cord. This is, da this is Dad's oil. He 
He says it's good for everything. Frying vegetables, greasing skin, unscrewing bolts. It sounds a bit extreme, but if Dad says so, it must be true. I prefer jam for breakfast, but mayonnaise is tasty too. Mm, I disagree. I uh, disagree. The fire iron, a tool for a tool used for everything but the fire. Oh wait, we read this this morning. Let's look for him in the attic, because I know he likes to go to the attic because of the fish. Uh, there are crates everywhere. Squinty, are you in here? The eternal battle between order and chaos is taking place here in this cellar. I think that chaos is about to win. <laughs> That's how I feel about my bedroom sometimes. Another cork. Oh, sweet. Okay. Another cork. I wonder what we need the corks for. Okay, Squinty is not down here. So let's go. Okay, we've already been upstairs. So we're going to go look for him outside if it lets us. I'm going out looking for Squinty. Oh, okay. Don't wander too far. Breakfast will be... Oh, no, I forgot his voice. Okay, breakfast... Breakfast won't be long. Hurry along. I don't know what he said, but, you know, whatever. Yep. <laughs> Squinty, looky here. I've got food. Aren't you hungry today? Who is this? Careful, Lucy. Don't go too close. Oh, it's Red's dad. Why is he here? Wait, what are you doing? The mayor asked me to tend to this workshop. I'm taking apart what we don't need anymore. Are you going to be the new woodworker? No way. I'm not the type to go wandering around in the forest. Also, I have no idea how to work wood. So, who's going to provide wood to the town? They'll find someone else. Someone who is not me, that's for sure. Listen, Lucy, I have a lot to do, and I need space to work. Don't be buzzing around, or you can get hurt. All right. All right. I didn't like this very much, but it's sad that it's being thrown away. Water off. Hey, the water's flowing. Giovanni must have repaired the pipes. Obviously, someone forgot to turn it off. There we go. No more waste. Book what? Oh no! Ugh! Water everywhere. Giovanni said that I'd have all the water I wanted, but I was hoping it'd come from the faucet. If Dad sees this disaster, luckily all that noise is covering it up for now. So those must be what the quirks are for. The water jet is too strong. I can't press the cork in. I have to stop the water first. Yes, Quincy, you are a true ninja. I'll just have to follow his tracks to know where he went. Oh, we're gonna follow the footprints. Quincy's tracks into here. The pile gets more and more confusing whenever I look at it. <gasps> Squinty! Was that Squinty? He sounded scared. He must be in trouble again. I have to find a way through. The mallet, maybe? Okay. Guess not. Let's turn the water off then. Maybe this valve shuts off the water. Ugh! It's no good. I can't move it. Maybe that's what the oil was for. Back to the house. Yes! Uh, you got a bottle of oil. Yes! Let's give it a try. Right, here goes nothing. Physical strength can it move the valve, but the strength of my logic is the trick. Oh, can I turn it down? All right! Now we can put the corks in. Done. Now the hole is nicely sealed with the cork. Okay, I bet we gotta hammer it down. Yep, perfect. Now that is a job well done. Why, thank you very much. I couldn't have done better myself. The hole is closed. Thanks, cork. Okay, hammer it. Ah! Where are you going? <laughs> Now it's perfect. Okay, last cork. Hmm, the cork is a bit smaller than the hole. It doesn't fit. Oh, maybe we don't need it. Oh, we needed it. Oh, hey, it 
broke the fence a little bit. What's this? Oh, this fell off the pile. You got a cloth. Okay, so maybe we need to put that on the floor to make it bigger. You got a wrapped cord. All right. Oh wait, I gotta turn the water off. I almost forgot a step. flooded the yard, I'll be in trouble. Lucy, where are you? Oh, hi. Already at work? I need to find Squinty first. Then I'll make up an excuse. And this, what is this place? Squinty, how did you get up there? Don't tell me you can't come down. With all the trouble you make, maybe you should stay there. Kidding, kidding. I'll get you down. <laughs> Where are her footprints, though? Like, her footprints don't even lead to the tree. Huh. I don't see the cat's footprints. Okay. I can't climb up there. Hmm. Guess the ladder. Just what I need. I can't get it down. Hmm, the rope looks rather thick. So what do I do? Does anyone live here? It looks uninhabited. Uh, it's dark out, it's dark inside. I can't see anything. Oh, what's this? The door is open. I guess maybe stray cats live there. Can I go? I can't go over there though. Okay. Uh. Oh, we can use it on the window. I don't think anyone will mind. You got a shard of glass. Oh, maybe that's what we use to uh, to uh, to uh, cut the rope. All right, Squinty, I'm gonna get you. <laughs> I'm coming. I've done it. The ladder is free. Let's go save a kid. Here I am, troublemaker. If you don't behave, you'll just stay there, okay? <laughs> the cat meow. <laughs> hey, I'm surprised. It would have been funny if he jumped down. What? Oh, no. Ah, why does trouble always find me? Aw, the cat's happy to have company, though. <laughs> Now how do we... Hey, you brats! Oh, the old woman! Oh, no! Show yourselves! Are you here to break more windows if I catch you? Oh, what's this? Years without fruit and then two ripe, delicious intruders appear. Get off my tree! It, it's me! I'm stuck up here. What? Oh. <laughs> I see. I understand. What a mess. Could you help me? <laughs> oh no, what if she's actually bad and she just grabs the ladder and just leaves? <gasps> Where's she going? Wait, okay, I saw her before. She wasn't this old. Is that what she said? I don't know, I was too busy. Poor old me. <laughs> oh my gosh, she's so slow. Here you are. Take it easy, little girl. The ladder is old. <laughs> so he's the one who's always getting you into trouble, is he? I didn't know someone was living here. I thought... Oh, you don't say. Just thought you'd break my window and cut my rope, is that it? Everyone just wants to play pranks and vandalize the crazy old lady's house, right? 
I should make an example out of you. But, but the window was already broken. The house looked abandoned. First of all, a lady shouldn't play with such tools. This hammer is hereby confiscated. Aw, oh, we lost our hammer. <laughs> you lost the hammer. Do you live here? Oh, oh, so I do. I tie that knot so tight that I couldn't use the ladder anymore. Guess that's not a problem anymore. <laughs> well, thanks for the help, but now I really have to go. What's the hurry? You know that cat of yours came here, yester came here yesterday as well. I found this on the ground. He must have brought it. It's yours, right? Uh, that's a page of my diary. Yes, it's mine, but how... <laughs> you should take better care of your stuff. I saw that note was missing. I thought I'd add it in myself. Uh, we got a note. Okay, so we must have finished a song. But I don't sing anymore. Oh, how come? Didn't you like to sing with your mother? Yes, but I had to stop. Dad says I'll get into trouble like her if I don't. I don't want it to, to happen to me. Ah, I understand. So your mother disappeared because she used to sing. I don't know. I just think it's important to respect the rules, that's all. And there's a rule that doesn't allow singing? No, it's not really a rule, I don't think. At least I've never heard of it. But you decided to stop singing anyway. Well, well. If you think this is the best thing to do, you should avoid singing. Never again. And that thing I gave you is useless. Return it immediately. Why? It's just useless. I'll throw it away. I don't want rubbish in my garden. No, I mean, even if it is useless, I would like to keep it as a memory. Oh, she's so mad. <laughs> All right, it's yours. You can keep it. <sighs> My poor windows. Those brats are worse than weeds. Next time, frogs on their head, chased by rats. <laughs> better leave, Squinty. <laughs> her, I love her angry face. <laughs> I think she's my favorite. She's so funny. Dad hasn't returned yet. I know I said I'd never sing again, but I really miss it. gonna sing or what oh I see oh I brought back the memory of her mom I miss her mom she was such a good character Lucy where were you me here I've been here the whole time and Ah, uh, yes, I found Squinty. Hmm, I've been looking for you all over town. You're not lying, are you? No, no, I promised I wouldn't go far, and I didn't. There's a lot of noise in the garden, and it's such a mess, maybe you didn't see me. Yeah, that's true. Okay. Uh, you know, I heard the others are going to play hide-and-seek in the square today. Can I go too? That's fine. Just don't make me come looking for you. I won't, I promise. All right, now come, let's eat. Okay, we're gonna eat, then we get to play hide and seek. I have a bad feeling that hide and seek is where we're gonna lose our friends though to the monster. Is that everyone? No, Lucy's not here yet. Let's wait for her, it's more fun with more people. Here I am, were you talking about me? Hey Lucy, you're here. Wanna play hide and seek with us? Sure, who's playing Seeker today? Last time it was Black's turn. Today it's yours. Black never finds anyone. <laughs> okay, I'll do it. Let's set one rule. No hiding in the well. Right, Blue? You never would have found me if I hadn't sneezed. I stayed there for hours. You're so dumb. The well? That sounds so dangerous. We were shouting all over town looking for you. The adults scolded us and you almost stayed there all night. No weird hiding places, okay? Hmm, okay. Now let's start though, come on. Lucy, close your eyes and start counting. One. 
two, a three. <laughs> Let's go, guys. Shh. Okay, everyone hid. Where do I start? Knowing them, I'll have to search the whole town to find everyone. What? Bro, he didn't even hide. What the hell? Silver, I can see you easily. Ah! I thought you'd never look near the well. Black said, you are not in the well. Oh, I misunderstood. <laughs> Come on, I'll wait here. Go find the others. On it. <laughs> he lost so fast. <laughs> All right, let's go here first. Okay, this is where Blue hid last time. What's this? There are only boxes and notes here. That's pretty close to us. Let's go to the farmer's field. Farmer in the day. Farmer in the day. Ah, oh, the dairy -o. What's this? Uh, pull the rope, I guess. <laughs> Ouch! <laughs> She's not amused. You're afraid of you're afraid of spiders. What? No, I'm not. I'm more afraid of getting hit in the head by a bowl. What were you thinking? Oh, so they didn't scare you? It worked with black and silver. I could try with cockroaches. Red, we are playing hide and seek. I found you. Now go back to the square. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> that is so like him. <laughs> he pulls pranks and then leaves stuff lying around. All right, we got fake spiders. Let's see if anyone's hiding where Olivia is. Greetings. Oh, hello, Lucy. Taking a walk. I'm looking for my friends. We're playing hide and seek. Well done, well done. Have fun, but don't make too much noise. Have you seen someone passing by? No, Lucy. I don't think any of your friends are here. Got it. Have fun. Thank you. All right, time to go. This way. But she's not hiding either. Do they not know how to play hide and seek? Found you. But you weren't hiding, Raven. Sorry, I got distracted. I was looking at... Oh, someone else disappeared. Did you know him? No. Hmm. It's just, I often think about when my time will come. What? Why, though? There's no reason to think that. Even if it doesn't, I still don't see what's so great about this town. I'd rather go to the forest myself than see my posters hung all over the place. Do you still want to play? Hmm? Did you already find Black? No, I haven't seen him yet. I see. I think I'll stay here a bit longer then. When you find him, let me know. Can I lie and say I found him? Did you find Black? He's already in the square waiting for you. Got it. Okay, see you there. <laughs> We're such little liars, but at least she went back. Guess we can't say anything about it. Let's see, what's this? Uh, um, nothing. This is empty. It was worth checking. Anything else we... I think we clicked on that before, though. Straw. Again. Although today it smells weird. It smells awful. What is this? Uh, do I really have to? Is that a hatch? A hatch, and it smells like feet. Blech. Let's see where it goes. Oh, this is pretty cool. This cheese doesn't smell good at all. Look at that, we found blue. Ew, that's where the smell's coming from. You found me? Wow, you're a hide and seek master, Lucy. Nobody ever finds me here. I was getting ready to stay here all day. <laughs> I can't believe they never found you, considering the smell. What is this place? I didn't even know it existed. It's the Baker's Secret Pantry. Lucas showed it to me. It's thanks to him I'm so good at hide and seek. Anyway, do you want some melted cheese? Uh, no thanks. It smells like it's rotten. <laughs> it's really good, though. Anyway, I found you. Yep, you did. You can tell the others. 
Aren't you coming back? Since the fire's already started, I'm gonna finish cooking this cheese. See you later. You must really like it. <laughs> Blue is sitting very com comfortably. Is there anything else? Oh, what's this? Whoa, now that is a gorgeous view. I did it work. Yay. <laughs> oh, that must be Luca. Oh, maybe we can talk to him again. You have no idea what you're missing. Yum. I guess he doesn't want to talk about Luca. Okay. Oh yeah, there's Olivia. I mean, Sunny. Aha, I see her. Gotcha, Sunny. Get out of there. Sunny? She can't hear me from there. Why is she covering her ears? Let's find out. Why don't you uh, sing her a little lullaby? Sunny, come here. <laughs> For I kill you. Yay, the button puzzle. I actually wish there were more button puzzles. I love this, I love these puzzles. I hate the other ones, they're not very fun. I really do. We sing, and then we get to see what they're thinking. Okay, looks like that's the gate to the forest that she's looking at. Oh, so she thought she saw a monster on the gate, I guess? I think I heard something. Sonny, it's me. Oh, Lucy, thank goodness. What happened? You look scared. I think I, think I saw something in the trees beyond the gate. Uh, you sure? I can only see us and no one else. I'm sorry. Do you want me to take a look? Tell me if you see something. Don't get too close to the gate, though. Okay, you wait here. All right, it'll be fine. We're in full daylight. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? Other than disappearing like everybody else. There's nothing here. Luckily. Sunny, she was wrong. I hope. Yep, all right. Let's go. Good news. I didn't see anything. Really? I'm sorry, Lucy. Maybe maybe I just imagined it. Whoa, 
Well, this road is pretty scary. Let's play somewhere else next time. Now get out of there, come on. Well, that sure was an adventurous hide and seek. I'm sorry, I was just trembling there while you... You must think I'm so childish. What? No, I was just joking. Between the two of us, you're definitely the more mature one. You always give us advice on the right thing to do. Sometimes even Red listens to you. It's a great achievement, you know? Yeah, but I don't think I do that because I'm mature. Huh? I just fear the consequences of doing the wrong thing. Every night I go to bed, afraid that those roars might enter from my window and take me away. Sunny, listen. If you ever feel like you're in danger, just come to me. I'll protect you. And how would you do that? Adults? Monsters? They're all scary. I would find a way. Maybe I would hide you in my house with me. Or we'd just leave. You'll never be alone. With your wisdom and my wits, we will always find a way. Thank you, Lucy. I think I feel better already. What if we go back to the others now? I did find you after all. <laughs> okay, you're right. See you at the square. Oh, goodness. Speaking of more troublemakers, we've got Squinty and now... Sunny. I keep wanting to call her Olivia. They look very similar. I thought Olivia was her mother, but obviously we saw her mother was the brunette whenever we gave her the cherries. Oh, what is he doing here? Ugh. Are you alright? Go play elsewhere, little girl. Jeez. Always thinking of a school, maybe? Is that it? I wonder if his mom was a teacher. A hole in the wall. What a ridiculous stratagem. Little girl, you should stay as far away as possible from this place. She already did too much damage when she was given the chance. Who, who did too much damage? The teacher? Scrap everywhere. Well, at least now the adults know they have to clean this up. Aha! Uh -huh. Look who we found! Um. Phew! This is gonna take me all day. Excuse me? Lucy, leave me alone and stay away from the workshop. I'll never get this done if you keep pestering me. Do I have to call your father? No, I understand. Jeez. <laughs> oh, we already read this the first time. Aha! A puzzle, of course. Da, 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 da. All right, let's see. Okay. So close. Okay, so we just have to focus on one more house being lit up. Right now we just have three out of four, but we're close. We we'll need another one of these. Ah, we did it. That was the woodworker, right? I wonder, was that his son then? Did he know him? Wait, is that the instrument I commissioned him to make? It seems unfinished. Eh, Will, you were never the one to leave things halfway without a good reason. I fear, however, that you deserve what you got. Bah, it makes no sense to keep thinking about it. What's past is past. If it stays here, it'll end up ruined. Better take it home. He's gone. The path is clear. Ha ha, we found him. Found you. No, that's not fair. At what? I saw you, you know. You made Red's father run away somehow. And so what? You don't move stuff around, that's cheating. You have to find me, not destroy my hiding place. He 
He's a person, not a wooden board. That rule obviously doesn't apply to people. You want a knuckle sandwich? I'm gonna hide again. Close your eyes or I swear I'll punch you. Damn, all right. Sore loser much? <laughs> Oversensitive much? For real. <laughs> Black super secret hideout. If he likes it so much, I should prepare a nice surprise for him. <gasps> the spiders? We'll just place this here. <laughs> All right. That wasn't even a good hiding spot. Black? Ugh, you cheated again! Oh my god. He's got issues. This is getting ridiculous. Ah! <laughs> there you are. I'd say I found you this time. Ew, this is gross. Lucy, did you do this? What are you talking about? What happened here? Then this is the work of Red. I'll show him. Uh, I hope they don't get into a fight. Red, I've got a bone to pick with. Hey, Black, how much money do you think I could fit in a pair of shoes? What? I thought of a new prank. It's a good one. Yeah, well, I, I don't care. You can prank anyone else, just not me, okay? What? I don't know what you're talking about, but what makes you so special? Without me handling the heavy lifting, you couldn't do anything. Ask the others if you don't believe me. A bit cranky today, aren't we? I'm saying. Lucy, what's more important, my brains or Black's muscles? Why, why me? Yeah, let's hear her out. You tell him, Lucy. But you were just pushing me around not that long ago. So, so I think that uh, cunning is more important, obviously. And he literally just pushes down. Like, we're not gonna be on his side. Of course, I've got a million prank ideas and I don't need you for most of them, Black. But, but, I... If you don't want to help me anymore, just don't. I've got a new idea anyway. No, I meant... It's okay. We got humbled real quick. <laughs> hey, Lucy, we're all here. Shall we change games now? All right, Blue is coming. <laughs> here I am. Right on time. Let's play something else. Tag? Sure. <laughs> oh no, why did the music get dramatic? What if this is the last game we ever play together? I, oh no, no, I really feel like something is gonna happen. I don't know. Oh, just me and blue. So. So what? So you have a secret lair full of stinky cheese. <laughs> Guilty as charged. But if you tell the others, they'll never stop laughing at me. Why should I tell them? A secret lair is a secret, no? That's right. <laughs> Listen, blue. Why do you think your uncle disappeared? He didn't like stinky cheese? <laughs> I, I don't know. Everyone says he didn't follow the rules, that he was looking for it. But what do you think? He was smart. He never would have risked his life like that. Luca neither. Huh. Try and catch this, Lucy. I'm ready. Uh, and I missed. Ah! Wait, come home now. Oh, Blue had to go home. Listen, Blue. Those voices that Luca used to hear. Blue? Where are you? Uh-oh. Not Blue! I thought he was going to disappear in the beginning. I didn't think he was going to do it at this moment.
into the forest. Lucy, no! Oh, we, this is not gonna end good. This is not gonna end good. That voice. Was it coming from here? Dad will worry. I should go back now. Oh, you already went in. You already went in. You, you're trapped now. <gasps> exactly. <gasps> you dumb. more careful. Ah, what? What are these? Oh, they're cute. Hey, what are you doing? Stop tickling me. Ah! <laughs> my doll! Hey, my doll! You little, that's a gift from dad. You, I'll get it back. Alright, we gotta get our doll. Give me that, you little thief. You're mine. got a branch. Why do I want a branch? Hmm. Now how will I get it? Oh. What's going on? Oh. It changed. Alright. More buttons. toy bag from that friggin' squirrel. Whoa, that's pretty cool. The plant, it grew. Using a song in the forest can lead to unexpected results. All right, give me my doll, or not. Ew, did it poop? I won't give up, that doll is a precious gift. You got a vine. This fruit is intact. You got a gross fruit. A gross fruit. <laughs> Ugh, it's sticky. Bleh, it looks even more gross when it's splattered on the ground. <laughs> What's this? I've never seen a boulder like this. It's full of holes. Some weird red brandles keep it above the ground. I don't like these, they look alive. monster's mouth and I like how it's red and it's got the brambles on it I like it it looks cooler Side to the other. It looks like a tunnel. Can we put something? Can we put? 
put the snail in it? Desperate times. A nice hiding place for snakes or squirrels. Unfortunately. Excuse you, you little squirrel. Oh, okay. It fits well. <gasps> Aha, I can't hide anymore. The mouth of the monster-shaped rock is sealed. A solid, immovable rock. Oh, it didn't work. Damn it. Snail, you're heavy, but not enough to stop it. Okay, maybe we need to combine it. You got a sticky snail. Oh, but will it kill it? I hope the snail will be able to get itself out of this sticky situation. <laughs> Great, the squirrel won't be able to use it as a hideout anymore. Good, nowhere left to hide. What? You little... Now we gotta find it again. Stupid squirrel. Oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. Stop! C come on, Lucy. You have to get it back. This looks like the same mouth that we saw take uh, the worker's dog. The woodworker's dog. I don't think that's a good. this is a good idea. And there's a spider web. It is definitely not a good idea. I told y'all I don't do fucking spiders. I swear. I swear. Please, please, please don't be a spider. Found you. Come here, you stupid squirrel. It's so dark in here. I can't even see what I'm stepping on. Spider webs. You're stepping on nasty, disgusting spider webs. Oh. All right, we made it out, yay. <gasps> oh no, the monster. <laughs> oh no. What, what was that? It was huge. C could it be a, a, a monster? Is it gone now? Oh, where did that squirrel go? Oh no, it's here. Go, go. There's light coming from here. This. Nothing happened. Okay. Uh oh Yikes. The the monster it, it knows I'm here. I have to get out of here and fast. What is this? Hey, we got a skull. I don't know why we need that, but let's go. <gasps> go. Okay. Is this a spring? Seems like it's clogged up. Okay, I must have to do something. Aha! You got a skull hook. Okay. Am I trying to unclog the spring? It didn't work. I guess we try it again. Yay, we got it! Alright, we got the spring. We also lost the skull, so hopefully we don't need that anymore. The spring is clear. Water's flowing free now. Go, 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 go. Nothing. Okay, go this way. Now what? 
There's a weird socket in the wood. That's weird. How do we get that? How do we... I guess we're going on the other side. Or not. Uh, we can't, so we have to go back. I guess there's something we missed at the front. We can't go that way. Aha! Go! Go, go, go! Sweet! Alright, what's this? Disturbing withered blue roots. They must have gone without water for a long time. Do I do something to them? I do. Puzzle time! The thingy majigger. Puzzle solved. Okay, we made the plant grow. Oh. Okay, so it made the flower bigger. Or it made a blue flower now, I mean. Go, 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 go. So maybe we can go the other way now. Maybe that's what we had to do. That was the puzzle. Brambles. They're wrapped around a huge plant. They seem to be strangling it. Okay, we're on the right track. Now we gotta save this one. Okay. Okay, we're close. Branch or tree save, I guess. <laughs> Reminds me of a, a bramble in the mountain king. It's all the bramble. The plant is fine now. Okay, now what? Okay, I guess we go this way now. We're gonna go this way now. What's over here? Oh, all right, that's the weird symbol. Can't do anything to it yet, though. I guess we're looking for it. Go. Run, forest, run! More bramble. No! More brambles. There's something trapped inside them, but I can't reach it. Oh, great. Now where did it go? It's so close. Ah, he's too close. All right, we got to pull the flower or the vine or whatever. This vine is way longer than the others. Go, 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 go. Yeah, fuck off, you stupid monster. But where'd it go? Oh, it's up there. What the hell? I didn't even see it. I was like, where'd it go? The brambles move toward the wall. Oh, we can grab it now. You got a weird artifact. All right, let's go over here first. Oh, it's in our way. Click 
that a kettle? It's so old. The, the tree must have been used by someone as a shelter. Oh, we got a sticker. Sweet. Okay. It opened. I can get out of here. Woo! Hey, there's the squirrels. Am I outside? F finally. Uh, or not? Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Dang it! Runs fast. We're gonna die. Dad? Oh. Where are we? All right. Ah, it's a little puzzle, I see. Desperate times call for desperate measures, I guess. It's like we're in the belly of the beast, except it's a plant, not a spider. Hey, at least I oh, the monster wasn't a spider. At least the monster wasn't a spider. Hello. Maybe, maybe it'll be our friend. You know, maybe if we can get Olivia to give us some cookies, it'll be our friend. Made it out of the plant. Are we out of the forest? Lucy? We did it. Oh my god. Lucy? Lucy, sweetie. Or maybe not. The birds are talking to her? <laughs> There's a lot of fog. I guess we go this way. What is this place? There's an inscription. Behold, the visage of fear. Restless souls live here. They bestow. I was reading that. I was too slow. Well, I was trying to read it all dramatic and shit, but whatever. Whatever. I tried. I tried. Oh, no. <gasps> if it has teeth, why would you want to put your hand in there? Oh, this looks like it could hurt. Let's stick our hand in. Let's do it. Then again, she also, she did stick her hand in a beehive, though. Um, remember that? <laughs> ah! What? What was that? I heard something weird. It sounded like a voice. No, it wasn't a voice. A, a song. You got a note. You learned a new song. It's a mysterious melody. Perhaps it can reveal secrets. Try using it here. <laughs> what? Oh! <laughs> that note was... I don't know. I think the other one was pretty, but that note's a little goofy. Alright, let's 
go. Where am I now? In hell. <laughs> You're in hell. Sorry to break it to you. Huh. What a strange bird. I've never seen one like this before. It's got a nice bright red color. It doesn't look scared. Oh. Well, maybe I should be scared. Okay, we'll try again. First you don't succeed. Just sit down and wait to die. Wait, what? <laughs> okay. Follow the bird. Oh, I don't want to do the wrong note. We did it. We did it. Oh my god. I thought it covered its ears with its feathers at first, and I was about to be like, well, damn. That means the last bird likes this note. We found our way out of the forest, I think. Wait a second. Over there. I see something familiar. I think we did it. Yay. Now we get to tell them that the forest isn't so bad, right? Even though we were kind of stalked by a monster. Whoa. Uh -oh. in the world looks like it says the kid is back what if she's been in contact with them that's what it looks like if you like really squint well what okay the dad is saying no stop I'll talk to her what are you saying I don't understand ah Oh no. So it's almost like she's back, but they all speak backwards. So I don't I don't even know what to think. Dad, I'm sorry. You were right. The forest is but where are you going? Oh no. He locked us somewhere. Well, at least it wasn't in the cellar. Why why were they all so angry? Dad didn't say a word, and he left without telling me where he's going. Everything was so confusing in the forest, and now? Now the town seems all confused too. It's scaring me. I don't understand. Something must have happened. It, it's fine. I don't have to be scared. I'm home now. Are you, though? Okay, we already know about all that. Oh, we can leave. What? What? Those are the same brambles I saw in the forest. What are they doing here? What are they doing in my house? They're covering most of the door. Okay, we gotta move the brambles. Disappeared. 
Yay, we can snoop now, finally. I wanted to look in their room the whole game. The window looks out over the valley. From here, the forest seems far away. These are Dad's books. When Mom was teaching me how to sing, he used to study here. I think he's good at what he does, but he's more interested in what the others think. Dad and Mom's wardrobe. Her clothes are still here. Is that it? There has to be a reason we came in here. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I don't know. I just these notes. I don't know. I just don't think they sound good together. They're kind of goofy. this drawer before it's locked I don't like going through dad's things but I feel like there might be something important in here all right so we're looking for a key Let's check downstairs more bramble is there anything in the cellar they're all too small and sharp I'd better leave them there see anything else in here Let's go back. All right. Another bramble puzzle. guess over? I didn't think her dad had friends. It seems Squinty is not at home. What are all these? Footprints? I don't have any items. The kitchen is all messed up. There are various tools for the fireplace. Very bulky. Locked, Dad? He can't keep me in here. So many things are going on and I want to understand. I need to find a way out of here. Anti-monster windows. I'd have to break the glass to get out. That doesn't seem like a good idea, though. Dad's already angry enough. If I were a cat, I could get out this way, but I'm too big. If only the opening were a little wider. That is definitely a hint. Aha, here we go. I need a burglar's tool to get out of here. The fire iron is perfect. Yes. All right, we're getting out of here. It's kind of funny that we have to break out of our own house. <laughs> I know Dad won't be happy about this, but, well, the board needs to be fixed anyway. What difference does it make if I break it just a bit more? I hope he won't notice. All right, we're free. Question is, do we want to be free when our world is upside down? What is this? If this is a joke, I don't like it. Looks like it was, he put it over her mom's picture. The 
wall has been hastily repaired. I don't know how to explain it, but I feel like there's something out of place. Oh, there is. Maybe we can fix it. There we go. We got it. Voila. Could this be the entrance to the old school? What's this? It's a letter box. They don't make them like this anymore. There's a letter in it. It's for me. You got a letter. Oh, I gotta open it, I guess. Ah, uh, there's a message. And what is this? You got a mysterious letter. Okay. And a small key. Oh, I bet that opened either the music box or his drawer. This key looks familiar. Where have I seen this design before? What does the note say? No one comes back from the forest. No one, no one. Except you? Discover the truth. You don't have much time. Is that my dad? Is he helping us? Maybe he left that for us. No more water. Well, that didn't last long. It's an abandoned kennel. I don't know what it says. I tried. I'm not sure. I can't, I can't make it out. What's this? <gasps> hey, we found our cat! Squinty! Squinty, you've been here the whole time? At least you, you don't hate me. The town doesn't feel safe. There's a weird atmosphere. It's scaring me. But you, you've always been you. My friend Squinty. I need to find out what's going on. Hey, I bet I uh, feel bad for all the times I've, I've called her a pest. <laughs> All right, let's try the music box first. It opened, and it still works. Bow, 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 bow. There are letters inside, and another key. You got a bronze key. These two are not signed. You'll teach your daughter to sing, but you don't have the guts to do it yourself. What happened to your pride? Doing things by halves only does harm. Ignore my letters as long as you wish, but keep in mind that you are wasting her potential. As I taught you, I can teach her. Stop listening to that half-wit husband of yours. The old woman. Yeah, uh-huh. Are these letters from that crazy old lady? They have to be. So it's true that she taught mom how to sing. It seems that mom never replied. I wouldn't have either. She's really obnoxious. What if the crazy old lady is her mom? Why else would she, why would she have taught my mom to sing? I don't know, she must know our, her mom really well. It's gotta be, it's gotta be our grandma, right? Ugh, I don't know, there's so many questions. I have so many questions. White sheets, pencils. Oh, this notebook looks like it's gotten a lot of use. I shouldn't read it, though. Um, yes, you should. Absolutely. It must be very old. Most of the words are faded. I can only read a few sentences. We will write down all of our adventures in here. Looks like a child's handwriting. Rules, rules. That's all adults ever talk about. Today we decided to find out the secret of the forest. More faded pages. Today we tried to ambush a monster. Eloise climbed the barn fence and started making a lot of noise while Chloe and I were hidden, ready to act. No matter how loud she got, though, nothing happened. Maybe it only works at night. Oh, so this is Mom and Dad's diary. And who is Chloe? I bet it's her dad's sister because her dad said something about their, his sister disappearing. Dear Adventure Diary, our adventures are over. We uncovered the secret. We fought and all we got for it was loss. Chloe was taken. We decided to leave this all in the past. Staying together is more important than the truth. That's what Dad told me about. Chloe must be a sister. The rest of the pages are empty. Wait, what's this? 
It seems to be another letter. It's recent. Dad wrote it. Lucy is just like we were. She wants to understand. Today I told her you wouldn't be coming back. I don't want her to follow you. I don't want her to be taken too. You know I won't be coming for you. No one will. But you, will you ever try to come back? What, wait a second. Is this for mom? W wasn't she? He told me that dad lied. Mom, she's still. Lucy? D dad. I'm not sure what it says, but I feel like he's asking her how she got back. You, you're a. A liar! I can't believe it. You expect mom to save herself? We should be looking for her right now. I don't know what he's saying. I really don't. I really have no idea what he's saying. No, let me go. Let me go. Let go of me. You are a liar. I don't know what he's saying. <laughs> no, don't lock me in. Wait. I hate you. You always said that mom was gone and there was no hope. Dad. He left again. I can't believe it. She's still out there somewhere. I, I think she's in the forest. So this is it. I don't care about their rules anymore. I'm going to look for her and I will not be afraid. No more trying to reason with dad tonight. I'm sneaking into the forest and I won't get caught. Monsters don't scare me. All's quiet. Dad must be sleeping. Good. Operation Saving Mom begins. Better take some supplies with me. And I have to find a way to get out of here. Let's see. There's socks, Squinty's hair, and... Right. I'd hidden emergency cookies at the bottom of the drawer. Squinty didn't get his paws on them. Perfect. You got some emergency cookies. What else do we need? This is now empty. A container could be useful. We got a jar. Oh, what's this? Hmm. You got a bed sheet. Okay. Huh? You know what, tongue? You're coming with me. You will be a perfect sack or a spare sock. I don't know yet. <laughs> All right, we got a sock. You got a blanket. Uh, is that it? The door is locked, but maybe I can exit through the window. I need something to help me drop down. Oh, the sheets. A makeshift rope. All right, let's get out of here. Bye, Dad. If you don't save mom, that's fine. I'm gonna do something about it. Done, here's my way out. Just like in an adventure novel, the hero never gives up. Operation Save Mom, chapter five. Ooh, the final chapter. We finally get to see what happened. It's so dark. Ah! Ouch! I didn't see the stone. I don't recognize this place. Where am I? Ugh! It's so dark that I can't see where I'm going. Why didn't I take a lantern? It doesn't matter. I've gotten through the thickest part now. Just need to look for mom. Alright, looking for mom. There are many strange colors in this forest. So many fireflies. Can't really click on anything else. All right, let's go. Ah, it's so dark I can't see where I'm going. I might fall. I should have taken my candle. Uh, can I catch the fireflies? Perhaps. Ugh! Nope! I can't just grab them! Okay... Ooh! Okay, we can try-
try to lure them with cookies. I hope I don't waste them because I could have eaten that. I don't know how long we're going to be in this forest. Let's see if I can lure them into the jar. Come on, fireflies. I just need some light. Uh, it's not working. But I'm sure it's a good idea. Okay, so it is a good idea. I gotta try something else. Oh! The cookies in the jar have softened a little. Alright, this better work because I am not gonna be eating soggy cookies. Don't be wasting my food, you freaking fireflies. Just give me some light. Come on, give me some light. Come on, fireflies. Did it work? You look so cute. You'll be my light. All right, we did it. Woo, let's go. Wow, waterfalls. I love the sound of flowing water. Uh, I can, I can hear something else. A song? Yes, it's a song. A song in the forest. It's coming from the valley down below. I think the river goes to the valley. It's not very deep, but the current is too strong to walk through on foot. Uh, there must have been something I missed. Right here. The bark on this tree seems to be coming right off. Maybe it's dry. It'll be like going down a slide during a thunderstorm. I hope I don't get too wet. Whee! I hope we get to see her go down. Ah! <laughs> don't get too wet, I said. And look at me now. Completely soaked. Epic thing. What's this? It looks like an old mill in Dusty Lover. Will it still work? Trying to fill the bowl. <gasps> We're filling the bowl. Okay. Huh, what's this? You've got a shard. Okay. Now what are we doing? With all this fog, I can't tell if I'm looking at a lake, a river, or a swamp. At least I know there's water. <laughs> True. <gasps> and a puzzle. That was not what I was expecting. What's this? 
It's a statue like the others, but the basin is missing. Oh, and here's a basin. Is it for the girl statue? No, that doesn't seem to be the right one. So maybe it's for him. Go back. Here you go, back to where you belong. Got it back. What's this? A hive. A beehive. They kind of look like flies too, though. Giant bee flies. Luckily, they don't seem interested in me. Alright. So it looks like our goal is to put water in the basins. Wait, what's this? What is this strange plant? This leaf looks very young. It's all rolled up. Puzzle number two. Pushed by the water. I think the tenants have fled, but I won't touch it barehanded. Yeah, I don't blame you. It's still not worth uh, getting stung over. It should be easier with this. <laughs> It'd be funny if you just started whacking it. You got some wax. Cool. And at least it wasn't ear wax, you know? You know? So, alright, now we need the water to go to the bowl. Basin of this statue is cracked. Basin, that's what it's called. A fucking trough. That's what horses drink out of. I think it's so funny that I said trough. I could try filling the crack with my sock, but once it got wet, I think it just slipped out. Okay. So what about the wax? 
Um, it's a good idea, but the crack is too big. I don't have enough wax. Okay. Oh, okay. We can buy this. A waxy sock. This is like Sam's butter sock, but with wax. It's not perfect, but it should work. <laughs> and it did. All right. Now we've got three, so that's three puzzles solved. I think we needed four though, right? So let's go see what was on the other side. Here's the other side. Oh. This statue is really beat up and its basin is, it's split in two. Both of them? That's weird. There are many statues here, each holding a basin. This one, oh, they say the same thing. All right. Well, maybe I have to step on them, because whenever I step on those circles, it closes the basin. So maybe I can do one at a time. Let me see. So I think this one would be the far right. Far right. Yay, let that be water. Oh, it's our this basin. Okay, so let's step here. Okay, so now that basin is closed. Can we just like, wait a minute? I don't think so. Okay, well, because I have the water on, I'm gonna go ahead and fix this to where the water goes to both, and then I'll figure out what to do after that. All right, I did it, I did it. I didn't even realize that I did it. Okay, so now whenever we solve the puzzle, this is already ready to go. <laughs> Let's go. So I'm not sure how we're gonna fix those. Got three. It fits perfectly. There's no way I'll be able to reach the weird lemon looking fruit either. I've never seen a fruit like this before. Me neither. Neither have I. The red roots again? The road is blocked. You know, we never found the fucking squirrel with our doll. Did we, like, do something wrong? Alright, another bramble puzzle. My dad wasn't speaking backwards in gibberish. Fireflies? What's going on with you? Are you okay? Maybe I kept the lid closed for too long. Oh no! <laughs> there you are. Does that feel better? Ah! No, don't leave me! <laughs> they tricked us! <laughs> They're like, play dead. She'll open the lid and then we can escape. <laughs> I can't see anything. I can't see anything like this. Uh-oh, do we still walk? I see something shiny. Maybe I can reach it. Uh-oh. Ah! Uh, a 
Another crevice. I hate this forest. And it clearly hates us, too. Where am I now? On the ground? You're still in the forest, ma'am. It's so dark, I can't get my bearings. And this search? It never ends. I wonder where Mom is. Will I ever find her? I shouldn't have left on my own. Okay. Now, I would have agreed with that. If her dad wasn't speaking gibberish, but because her dad in the town was speaking gibberish, I say you got nothing, you've got nothing left to lose at this point. Because if you guys can never understand each other and he's just going to lock you in your bedroom from all eternity. Um, yeah, I think it's a good thing you left. But at the beginning, nah, nah, she should have just stayed with her friends and played her games. I would not have came to the forest. Not for the first scenario, but the second one. Hell yeah. But there's no turning back. No one in town would have followed me anyway. I should find a way to make light. Let's start with some dry wood. Oh no. Uh, eh, a monster? Why are you shaking your head at me? Take this. <laughs> I'll beat you with a stick. Oh, the rock. You got a rock. All right, all right. Get back! Get back, you beast! Get back! <laughs> back it up! Whoa, it's pretty! It made the forest pretty. As the ancestral voice echoed throughout the forest, Lucy felt stripped of the only certainty she ever had. Fear. And in the hole it left, something new could now grow. Hope. Interesting. So the forest wasn't bad after all. It was the fear of the unknown. It taught us a lesson, guys. It taught us a lesson. Hey, that was the big monster that we were scared of um, at the beginning. Or in the middle, I mean. This. This is incredible. We spent our lives hiding in the town, fearing your roars, and yet... I don't get it, though. What happened to Mom? That's what I want to know. I feel like there's so much I don't understand. Me too, what the fuck? Mom must still be here in the forest, but I can't find her alone. I need help. For, so if they're good, if they're good creatures, then we should be able to find her alive, yes? Maybe she was tired of that town and she came to the forest on purpose? Because it seems beautiful here. I might have a plan. If the townsfolk knew you weren't really dangerous, they'd start looking for the missing people. Even dad would help me. I think. Spit it out, girl. I'm afraid they won't believe me, but... I have to go. When this is all over, I'll come back for you. Oh, they're gonna come with us. What? You want to help? What am I saying? You can't understand me, but if you were with me, it would be a lot easier. Come on, let's go. All right, we got our very own Pokemon. Gotta catch them all. <laughs> um, that trunk doesn't seem very stable. I'm worried it won't hold us both. We should pass one at a time. Stay here. I'll go first. No, wait here. Uh, how can I make myself clear? Singing, I guess? Or we can hit it with a stick. Stay back, beast! <laughs> oh, alright, it worked! Okay, stay here. Great, you can come now. You're not coming. Okay, so 
would that be the different one then? Ah, oh, that's so cool. It responds to music. I mean, they did say that they would hear roars, but then they would hear singing. I think I'm getting the hang of talking with you. Let's go. I want one. It is so cute. Whenever it did, like, uh, the animation, though, it kind of looked like a really hairy pig without eyeballs. Um, but from the side, it kind of looks like a dog. But also, it also kind of looks like Momo from Avatar The Last Airbender, but, like, just in the face. The face and the ears. Oh, no, we're stuck. How can we climb up? Let me guess, the third one? Aha! Uh, can I stand on your shoulders? All right. I love how I ask. I mean, does she, does she think it's gonna look at me and be like, yes, you can. this one. I don't know why. I just, I like it. It's fun. that has played this. How the hell do I get the doll? What's this now? Who could have drawn these? The missing people. Da, 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 da. Oh, hey, we got a sticker. Keep going. A huge ancient looking steel. It says, 
When faces became masks, when thoughts took shape, when sound turned into silence, the rest of the steel is ruined. I can't read anymore. It's a small hole in the wall. Lights coming in from the outside. Who knows where it leads? I guess we gotta go up. Give me a boost, please. Thank you very, very much. And then I'll have to find a way for her to meet me. Oh, never mind. No, I was right. I was right. She can't do it. Oh, did you get hurt? Wait for me. I'm looking for a way to come back. Now where am I? Oh, a net. That could be useful. Although, it seems that it's been here for a long time. There are several broken containers inside. How did they end up in here? It's all too high. I can't get it. Nature really can grow anywhere, huh? Or at least I can try. This tree seems dry. Haha, <laughs> try and dry. I don't know how I'll get down, but I'm sure I won't do it from a slide that drops me into the middle of nowhere. Or at least, I hope I can find a better alternatives. Oh, sorry, I thought you wanted to die. <laughs> I'm clearly mistaken. Alright, here we go. It doesn't look very stable. Maybe I could push it a little. We'll get to pushing. Oh no. Well, you slipped either way, so you might as well have just made it faster and just did the little slip and slide. <laughs> Thank you, moldy old box. You saved my life. Oh, look at that. A small basin. Huh. I wonder where that goes. Not that way. I didn't mean to do that. I was trying to be sarcastic. How convenient. Perfect. We gotta put this. Uh. No, that's right. I just wanna. No, wait. Now turn it. No, 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 no. Other one. Other one. There we go. Now it's ready. Let's turn the water on. Oh, there you are. Oh, okay. So yeah, that's why we that's why we fell. So once we get that, we'll get the last piece we need and then it'll open the door. All right. Smart. So we need it all the way open. All right, we got it. Let's go. Hey. Oh. Let's go. Beautiful. Look at that beautiful stream of water. All right. I'm coming, furry creature. I'm coming. All right, before we get her, I'm going to go ahead and turn the water all the way back to the right. That way, um, together, we should be able to solve the one with the broken troughs. Because I can stand on one, and then she can stand on the other. I'm not sure what it's going to do, though, because we already have all the pieces we need, I think. But, I mean, I feel like it's there for a reason. I don't think they just put it there with no purpose. already put it together. It should be going right in the bowls. You can stay here. Alright, we'll stand on this one. Uh, oh, it gave us another piece. I'm not really sure where it's going to go, though. Follow me again. Thank you. Oh, it goes here. Is there anything else before we go, though? I don't think so. Let's 
trying to see if there's anything else that I could um, react to. It. Now we can climb up. Right. I think, what are those, mushrooms or something coming out of the wall, or are they rocks coming out of the wall? Let's go. Hey, that's where we got the fireflies at the beginning. Without your help, I never would have made it this far. Ready? Oh, no, not again. Ouch, what happened? You fell. <laughs> There was a landslide. Are you there? Can you hear me? <laughs> I have to get out of here. I wonder if the, the creature is thinking, oh my God, she's such a pain in the ass. All she does is fall. <laughs> it's a big rock with a curious shape. Uh, I need help. coming down and she didn't think to grab onto a vine or something really N now where am i um well just hope that you're not dangling you know waiting for a giant spider to come get your old dumbass <laughs> i i'm stuck from bad to worse how did i get out how do i get out of this death it looks like i mean look at the spikes below her she gone Help, I'm over here. If I fall from this height, I'm gonna hurt myself. Uh. Oh, to the rescue. I was gonna say Wolfie, but I don't know what it is. You came, how did you make it? Stay right there, let me jump. Ah, I made it. You passed through here, right? There must be a way out. Come on, let's go home. I kind of wanted to explore, though. Who knows what the others in town will say when they see you? I hope they don't get scared. Don't worry, I'll explain that they have nothing to fear. Look, here's the way out. Come with me, let's go. 
But we never got our doll. I didn't want to leave yet. Dang it. I must have did something wrong. Lucy realized she was back home when the sounds of the forest gave way to a familiar silence. Though the songs that the townsfolk have always been deaf to still resonated in her head. And like a disease that sneaks in, spreads and grows stronger, maybe their hearing wasn't the only sense being clouded. <gasps> Wait a minute! Wait a minute! I'm a pig wolf thingy too? Wait a minute. So, I am lost? Like, I'm not actually there? Like, no, none of this happened? Did I die in the forest? What happened? Okay, so I have a funny story. I'm going to try to make it really quick because this game was four hours long, as y'all can tell. Um, the reason why it took me almost a week and a half for you guys to get another video is because this game took me more... It took me ten hours to beat this game. Ten hours. Now, the first half of the game was great. When I tried, when I came back later to beat the game, I don't know how I managed to do this. I didn't realize until after the two hours it took me to beat the game that I had two microphones on. Two microphones. So I had my normal microphone and then I had my headset microphone and I didn't realize they were both on. So there was a horrible buzzing. I mean, it was terrible. I couldn't, I couldn't edit it out. So I had to replay the four-hour game a second time because this game does not have a chapter selection um, and it doesn't have a way. It, it auto-saves. So I couldn't, even, I couldn't even do like multiple saves so that I could just jump back in. Um, but the good thing that came out of this was I was able to get two different endings. So I just want to show you guys the first ending that I got um, and that's it. So if you hear like a buzzing sound, yeah, yeah, that's why that I use two fucking microphones, but I'm going to show you the first ending that I got first, and then it'll go into the second ending that I got when I had to play it again, um, to make up for the buzzing sound. Were they reincarnated into it? Cause they saw both. They didn't see Lucy as a human. They saw Lucy as the same thing as she was. So that must be Lucy's mother. <gasps> I think that's Lucy's mom. What do we do? Her voice, a whisper against the rage of the townsfolk, broke through the gaze of the children who still believed. They are the ones who cracked the wall, and a breach opened up for those who deep within didn't want to lose anyone else. And yet, how could it be enough? How could a single note be heard in that willful silence? This is gonna make me cry. Damn it. Those two I love animals more than people I can't. This is too much. Could not change in a single night. No bridge could ever cover such a distance. We were all sure of it. Everyone but one child. A child who had seen and would never forget. Chose to teach all who'd listen. She became a teacher! Can always be rewritten. She's a music teacher. Since then, as the wind whispers through the trees, hidden by the shadows of an endless forest, we hear those white songs. And we listen, watching over those who chose to believe in our future. So what happened to her mother? That was her mother, right? But then... So did she die in the forest? I still have so many questions. Oh, I don't know which one to choose. This one, I guess? Oh, please tell me I chose right. Ugh. Deep in her heart, Lucy knew someone would remember her voice. 
someone who, although blinded by fear, would still hold on to the privilege of doubt. Someone with nothing to lose, who would look below the surface. Wait. We do not believe in coincidences, Wait. but in choices. Oh my god, it was her mom! Or to forget. To leave. We're okay! Or to stay. We're okay! Oh my god. Some choices will always haunt us, making us wonder who we could have become instead. We can only hope that one day we won't feel the need to look back. Huh. So is that what it is? They were like lost, but like mentally not for real. They were like stuck in the past. Is that why she said they won't feel the need to look back? All right. Well, that was it. That was it. I got to say, I don't know. There's probably a name for this type of game, but I don't know what it would be called. But I think this game is my favorite game that didn't have like dialogue, you know, like the type of games where you have to read most of the dialogue. This was my favorite type of that type of game. This game was so good. It, it's very emotional. Like, I actually felt it when her mom was gone. When her mom disappeared, I was like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. They did a really, really good job building that connection. So I don't know. I think I think it was really good. I still have a lot of questions. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments if you made it this far. What do you think happened to the other children? What the like what the fuck? I don't understand. Are they actually gone? Did they just get banished? Were the adults really the bad people that banished them? I don't know. I don't know. It didn't really say anything. Um, I'm pretty sure we got the best ending we could, but I'm still confused because at the ending we got, obviously, like, they found Lucy and, and her mom, and she's okay. So she went back to the forest, and she came back with Lucy. So does that mean if the other ones go into the forest, can they come back with their loved ones too? I don't know. I don't know. Like, maybe they have to go to the forest, and if they don't go to the forest, maybe they never come back. Because, because they're lost. That's my new theory. That's my new theory. So if they don't go in the forest to find them, then they're gone forever because maybe they'd feel like nobody loves them because they're trapped in the past, right? Because at the end it said, um, maybe she won't feel the need to look back to the past. At least that's what I was taken from it. So maybe it's like depression. So like mentally they're gone. They feel like nobody wants them or nobody loves them. So maybe they're wanting their loved ones to find them. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm taking it too deep, but that's kind of where my new theory is. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments. I'm very, very curious and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm very excited. I've got some Halloween games coming up that I'm super excited about. It looks like we're going to be doing Five Nights at Freddy's. And it looks like we're going to be doing Resident Evil 1 for the PlayStation. Because as of right now in my community post, it looks like those games tied. So we're going to be doing them both. So stay tuned for that. It'll be like Halloween week is when I'll do that. So that way I have time to beat both games and edit both games. Um, and I'm really, really, really excited. I'm very excited. It's going to be so much fun. I'm going to get some wigs. Um, see if my friend can do some scary witch makeup or something. I don't know. But it's going to be a lot of fun. And I hope I see you guys for those videos and, pre and more videos to come. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.